Aziz Light. Are we live? Aziz Light. Are Seems we live? good. Are we live? Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, let's continue, shall we? Um, I want to put a... Um, actually, let me just copy that train stop first. So we have the settings and stuff. Bulk rail loader, right, or unloader, right about here. And it should line up like so. I hope. Can we get the rail in? There we go. Uh, perfect. And then... Until we get this, uh... Raw, rare metal mined and out of the way... Um, we'll just be doing this. So let's see... Um... Underneath the... Go... And underneath you go brr. And maybe it should have been this one, actually. Wait, is that max length? Oh, that's unfortunate. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bilbo, welcome, welcome also. I love that emote. Image represents sounds. Image represents sounds, it does woo. Wait, what? Image represents sounds, it does. Oh, right, right, right. As is light. As, I thought you were talking about the big brain one. Confusion. Uh, I do see the name and base, Bilbo. I'll get to that shortly. And before that... Let's get this done. Okay. That's probably fine. This might be better. Especially since it's all temp. Okay. So this is our temp drop-off for enriched rare metals. So I was telling Myclat earlier I tricked LTN trains into going up and down the space elevator. Really? In a limited fashion. How did you do that? Grammar correction, image represents the sound it does. Talking about Ben emotes. Ben emotes. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I see. Um, okay. Do we not have... We already have lots of enriched rare metal. Um, and it's a high priority pickup. So... Oh, I haven't connected this yet. Well, there's your problem. Or rather, turned on the constant combinator. There should be a train scheduled uh, very, very soon to bring that stuff. Wait, where did I copy that substation from? Was that a regular substation? Blasphemy. There will only be lighted power poles in this playthrough. Um, Alright, so we need to make room for our rare metal mine somehow. Let's just get rid of the roundabout for now. And there's also some way over here. It's kind of hard to see. It doesn't look... It's not the same color on... Uh, in the world as it is on the map. But I guess that's fine. Lighted substation. We also need chlorine to be dropped off. Um, and let's figure out where we're going to fit this. 
exactly. I'll probably use a combined drop-off and pick-up. A uh, little drop-off chlorine and pick up the output. Um, but what am I looking for here? Mines. Let's go. Well, that almost has coverage. I guess we'll just go for two of these and... View of these it has to go even further. How about vertically? How about in line with this? Don't quite have coverage there. Why is this here still? Mines and. I think we only need like one more over here, right? Yeah. Let's just do it like this. And I think it's probably a good idea that we're all going north. Um, how about we just use this rail block right here for our trains? So we'll grab a bulk rail loader. Um, turbines are kind of in the way. This should be fine. Um, how about... Oh, I have to do something real quick. This will just take a minute. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that. As far as a hack together solution goes, though, I'm pretty happy it came out as well as it did. Two major limitations. Only sends trains one direction. All the trains arrive at the same station in orbit. So how does it work? I read the LTN request of a train in orbit, send it to a dummy station on the surface, relays the request, then I name the necessary stations. The same as the space elevator, LTN is tricked into having it in the train schedule. <laughs> nice. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Indeed. Yeah, that's, uh... I can't quite follow it perfectly at this stage, but it sounds very tricky and hacky. And good on you. Well done. Let's put a sub here. And... Connect this over here, I suppose. Oops. We are going to need uh, chlorine, was it? But I don't think I want a giant container for, for chlorine here. 
absolutely a terrible hack and I kind of love it. Nice. Um, if I put this one, two, three tiles away, that should be sufficient. This can fit exactly one train load. Is that okay? I mean, we'll, we'll have like slightly, slightly more capacity because of the pipes and the miners themselves and stuff. And I'm sure we will only need chlorine delivered once every very long time. Let's see. Uh, 50,000 divided by 28.13. Um, 1,700 seconds. So 30 minutes. That's fine. Alternatively, I could allow short trains where fluid wagons are concerned. It should be pretty simple to arrange because fluids auto balance themselves. So minimum train like three, maximum four. And on the solids, it'll be, I guess this station, whoops, whoops. Oh no, I wasted precious Tesla ammo. Oh no. Um, I guess on this station, uh, I need to shift click that. It's going to be minimum train length three, four. We can't have different train lengths for the different resources, but if we have the minimum train length three so that short trains can come to drop off the fluid, um, so that we're not trying to literally fill this in one go. And we allow longer trains to pick up the uh, stuff as well. As long as the destination stations for the physical objects, there's no drop-off excepting a short train. Then that should work out. Um, so we're going to go request threshold 25k. One train load of chlorine. It was chlorine, right? Yes, chlorine. Um, make it 30k. So we're going to deliver some before it runs out. And uh, I'll have to make a depot for short trains now. So I just created a bunch of work for myself. Um, on the other hand, I guess if we do allow the longer trains... I don't know, is it going to schedule a longer train if... under these conditions? Uh, I guess we're going to find out. It probably should have already scheduled it, to be honest. Um, raw, rare, metal... provider? And that's going to be based on stack size, not on a straight up number. Uh, let's go do the name in base before I forget, because this is going to get a little bit complicated. Whoop. Away go the bots. Fantastic. We're out of... Express loaders. Oh, and we didn't bring any crafting combinators. I could handcraft them. There's only 32. In this way I don't have to bother changing my requests. But I could do that while I'm doing the name and base. Or at least, yeah, we'll probably have the handcrafting not finished by the time I get here, actually. Which name are we putting in the base again? Uh, Bilbo. Fantastic. 
feet. I L. Is that a B? Yeah, it is. B R. And I need one, two, three, four, five of these. Uh, I guess we're actually just finishing up on the crafting combinators now, so that works. Fantastic. Okay. Um, we need to design a depot for short trains, which is really just going to be a copy-paste edit of our regular depot, I think. I don't know that we're going to be able to fit that many more trains if we try to redesign it. And this is already 15 trains per depot. Hmm. We fit a lot more than that last time, but that was with a bigger rail block. Um, I'm curious now, though. We're going to have to try it. Um, but first, let's finish some of our other builds. We don't actually need the raw rare metals mine to be working just yet. We've got raw rare metals. Uh, and here comes... Well, once we finish this bit of rail, here comes our uh, refined, our, our enriched rare metals. Oh wow, that loop that this thing has to do. Actually, couldn't it have gone this way to the right? Surely it could have gone loop round like this and into here. Yeah. That is... That has got to not be the shortest path. I could remove this chain signal right here so that the trains don't leave that way. Theoretically, if we ever put a station here, the train could be blocked, but I don't think that'll be an issue, to be honest. And here's our rare metals. Fantastic. Cool. Now then. Um, I was going to say let's finish the station. Okay, what I might do just as a one-off... I'll request 50,000 chlorine, and that will trigger a delivery. Wait, it's picking up 30,000? What? 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 That did schedule the train the moment I changed it to negative 50,000 on the signal, right? So why is the train now picking up 30,000? And it doesn't overfill it either. So... I don't understand. Also, how is this not accessible? Where's our train? No path. Uh, where where are we going? Down here? Is there a bit of rail missing here? Or is it a signal? I think it's... So... Oh yeah, because this would normally be one way, so I haven't got the signals um, to support that. That's fine. Alright. So let's finish up with belts. We've got one, two, three, four, really. I'll just... 
think of this one as being on one side of this belt. Oh, wait, not like that. And... Four to two. There's our chlorine. Light it up like this, I guess. It's easier if we just put the belts first and replace them, because the belts will override the fast loaders. Uh, the loaders, that is. That's not what I wanted. There we go. That's not what I wanted either. And... Tidy this up a bit. That doesn't look good. How about this? Perfect. Don't forget this power. And connect to the chlorine. Oh, that's not covered. There we go. And... I guess... Like this. Fantastic. All of them working. Very, very good. Nice and balanced. Well, it, it is balanced. It just has a slightly longer belt on the left side. Chain signal near red belt. Chain signal near red belt. Uh, I don't understand. This this one's not doing any harm. Not doing any good either. Far left one is facing the wrong way. Far left belt? Or minor? Oh yeah, minor. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Budgie Bum. I am the Sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright, so now that that's working... What? Oh. Oh no. Um, now that that is working, I guess technically I should probably connect this as well. Can we move that over a little bit? So that LTN knows what's in this container, if anything. Modinho, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's it going? Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, time to update, well not update, um, but make a different version of our depot. And I can't remember if there was something we wanted to change in our depot design when we update this blueprint. Nothing that I can see. We're doing the one combinator for each depot stop. 
seems okay. And all we're going to do here is reduce the number of, uh, reduce the length of the trains. How many constant combinators do we have? A grand total of 14, actually? Oh, these are not supposed to be here. So in that case, let me update the first blueprint. Depot. Um, we need this one and this one. And the rest can go. I'm pretty sure. Constant Combinator. And there should be 12 here. So all of these stops are wired up to the same constant combinator that gives us the stats for uh, the signals for depot. Um, are the stations named the same? I believe so. And this one seems fine, actually. I'll actually add to the description what this drop-off is for, basically. Bottom unloader isn't unloading. Uh, was this over here? Or in the editor? Oh yeah, I forgot. Biters are actually dealing damage. But it's just... They're just scratching a lot of walls all at the same time. We've got no ammo up here. I should probably be a little bit more concerned. We'll just get this depot thing done, and then we'll head out. For the rare metal, bottom unloader isn't unloading. For the vulcanite block, we don't have any vulcanite blocks yet. That's why we've got the crafting combinators, so that we can pick the recipe based on whether we do have vulcanite blocks. I wish you could set the, um... The crafting combinator to just pick whatever signal is highest. We could save one combinator here. Thought it was for the same thing, not Vulcanite. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, so basically we're just, we just have separate belts so that we can control not overflowing this with just one resource. And we also leave a gap so that stuff can be recycled. Um, so that when this, uh, the recipes change and we get overflow chests, uh, stuff dumped into here, some of it is input. Um, that comes back up this way and cycles back in. Gonna have to try the crafting combinator sometime? Yeah, they're great. So the one on the left needs to be in the shaded zone, but the one on the bottom can be outside. Shaded zone. Marsh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so I think we can now update our depot blueprint. Although, I don't know if it's going to cause a problem or not when we select new contents if the bulk rail unloaders are already facing north-south. Let's try it. Worst case, I'll just have to make it again after I change these a little bit. It looks fine. Yeah, that seems okay. Alright, now let's convert it to length 3 trains. 
it's either that or I use the same depot for both, and then I have to check where the cargo wagons are, and then I have to do, I think, bit shifting. Uh, it just I, I I could do it. It just takes more combinators than I'm happy to use. Um to avoid putting train fuel into cargo wagons. Sorry, rock slash brick zone. Rock slash brick zone. Rock slash brick zone. I don't understand. Um, I think I'll just move these down, honestly. It's a bit lazy, but... I don't necessarily see the problem with that. Referring to the bulk unloader. Uh, mass unloader? So, bottom... Oh, this one? Wait, are we talking about the loaders coming out of the bulk rail unloaders still? So the one on the left needs to be in the shaded zone, but the one on the bottom can be outside. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the bricks don't line up with the entity that is the container that we need the um the stuff to come out of i think if i put a container like here it'll automatically fill it up from the bulk rail unloader um and not if i put it off of the bricks um but as far as we're concerned using uh loaders to take out of the bulk rail unloaders, this 4x4 four four block uh, is where the entity is. Does that make sense? There's a yellow reference thingy. Yes, yes. Cheers, you're welcome. Alright, and... Why is there a... Oh, there's still a steel chest here that's just not... from when we were doing some stuff semi-automatically. Okay. Um, so one, two, three, and then... Move this over. Surely we can figure something out here that doesn't look too bad. Not like that. How about this? This goes over here. Uh, I think I'll be copying this again. Wait, what? I think I'll be copying this again. I made it different slightly. Okay. Um, and then we're just going to copy that pat uh, pattern across. I keep forgetting I don't have to... Oh, I do still need to change this, actually. But I don't need to change it for every single uh, depot stop separately. 
Alright, so that should go here and here. And why don't we test it as well? Let's get some... Why don't I make a blueprint while I'm at it? Oops. Oh, we need to change the station names. This is going to be for the single cargo wagon. And this one can probably stay the same. Or I could do this as well, actually. Alright, let's double check we got all of those. Seems good. Not this one, not the outer ones. Uh, and the, uh, the outer one over here is a drop-off, not a depot. Okay, uh, I think we forgot to copy some of this. Cool. How far does this actually reach? No, that is max distance. That's fine. Uh, let's get some locomotives. And give me a train stop so we can snap it to grid. Cargo wagon. And make a blueprint of that. Actually, let me just grab the existing one we've got. Um, put it here first. Okay, copy, paste, and just, ch whoops, just change that to, same schedule but going to a shorter station. And while we're at it, we should make the fluid wagon version. Um, but we can just copy the schedule across. 00255, nice and easy for the color. Seems good. Uh, and now we're going to remove most of the rail. Uh, blueprint. All I did was call this LCCL. Okay, cool. So this will be... Fluid wagon. Uh, LFL. Um, but I'm going to remove most of the rail. We just have a bit in the middle so that it'll snap to grid. And then... LCL. Oh, there's literally a middle one. Seems good. Alright. Uh, so I think this blueprint is done. Except the request threshold should be 40. 
40 stacks, that is. Uh, let's do a blueprint, snap to grid, absolute, 8624, depot, uh, for short trains. And that should be it. Let's just call it LCL Depot. Um, and now that we've got the blueprint, let's make sure it actually works. So we want trains everywhere. And make sure they get fueled. Oh. Let's cheat in some items. Actually, this will be just as easy. Actually, I think I can do it like this. Uh, fuel... No? I guess... Oh no, it's an unloader tap. I wonder if bulk rail loaders work this way. Whereby... If we... No, there's no, like, equivalent stone brick spots. It's not like we can just put something in a... Oh? Is it like we can put something in a chest here and it'll get loaded? It is too. I did not know that. I'm not sure what kind of utility that necessarily has, but we have the option. Anyway, let's go infinity chest, fuel, uh, super insata. A guy clicking. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Launched my first rocket in regular SE yesterday. Nice. Should probably make a good mall at this point. Oh, for sure. Now that bots are so far away, um, I would also, I, I would not, I would actually suggest that a sushi mall makes complete sense was able to design a starter mall for my SEK2 Extra Ores playthrough where each assembler has up to 16 different inputs. 24 once I unlock red belts. Yikes. Early game's gonna be tough to get through. Yeah. HP Crusher. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you also lo use loaders in space? Uh, I believe so, yes. Um, I think we tested that, and there's no restriction on it. Let's see if we can place them... Oh, I can't just place them in orbit, because I need rail. Um, and I can't put ghosts down of space rail, because I haven't got it researched. There's some space rail here, though. I believe. Because we got some freebies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if I place it like this, and we should be able to plan putting down an unloader. Cannot be built on empty space, so we need scaffolding, uh, which is in here actually, and I foolishly moved it all in here. I can just cancel deconstruct on this once they grab some. Tiny Goliath, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not sushi mall, sushi... Not mall sushi, sushi mall? Wait, what? What mod is that you're using for creating blueprints? Uh, editor extensions, and... There's a... Yes, we can build these in space. Fantastic. 
Uh, so editor extensions, go to settings, mod settings, and the per player tab. And the last setting is called testing lab. So you just switch that to something other than off. Uh, it'll also tell you in the drop in the info text here that you might want to switch off this setting as well uh, if you don't want to cheat. Be back later. Take care, Valdo. Thanks for dropping by. Morpheus is out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, looks like... Can we cheat in some more fuel a bit faster? UL. Okay. Can we just confirm that all of these trains are getting fuel? Eventually. That's weird. Oh, no, it's not. It is getting through, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, we can confirm the fuel gets to here. Uh, this is a bit extra. Did I copy that elsewhere as well, or did I just forget to remove it here. That looks okay. Alright, I think our new depot works. Let's get that built. And clean up everything else here while we're at it. Where are we going to put our depot? Probably here, maybe? Uh, I think I probably can't without imposing on the stone mine, though. Let's put our short trains up here, then. Away go the bots. Bots are 90% of the game at this point, indeed. Sucks that the Switch version won't have mods. I... Yeah. I mean, I understand if the... If you haven't played it that much, but at this point... To me, that would just be... You're not getting the game. Thanks for the mod info, I'm doing great, just doing some light coding. Hope you're having a good day as well, thank you. If you're... whoa, I thought I was going to get run over out of the corner of my eye. If you're mobile a lot, Steam Deck? I haven't heard bad things about the Steam Deck. I don't know much about it. Uranium. Fantastic. It's just expensive? Okay. How's that? Okay, I need to get up there. Uh, I need to get up there now-ish. We've got... Let's get a little bit more rocket fuel. And... Swap out the robopods. Put in shields. Um, swap in extra jetpacks until we get there. I should have combat stuff. I do. We've got destroy capsules. 
Get this wood out of my inventory, please. And uh, I think we're good to go. Ammo for the guns as well. I want to just get there first. Otherwise, I'd, ha I'd, have, I'd have picked up walls also. Okay. Lasers. Or a laser anyway, because that's all we can keep up with. Even when the battery is discharging. Um, actually, let's get bots to repair this as so far as we can. Good morning, Alpon. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. No mods on Switch isn't that bad. It sucks for hardcore players, but it will still bring new slash casual players. PC will always be the better platform for fine control. Yeah, but like, that's what I'm saying. If you've played a certain amount of Factorio, uh, if there aren't mods, it's like you don't really have the game. Speaking of mods, uh, yesterday I found out that Long War of the Chosen exists. So I'm a little excited, okay, more than a little excited, to get started on a new Long War playthrough. I don't know if I'll stream it though. I don't want to change up my schedule for any other game at this stage, and it would be like a long project, and I don't know how much interest there would be either. So it'll probably be just for me. Find any nuke biters yet? Not yet. Um, I should probably be using the poison capsules to get the actual nests. Not to mention with how slow the regen biters are, we're going to get a lot of value out of that. I just gotta... I, I have to be patient and not move too fast when I'm using... Uh, Drone capsules against the regenerative biters because they are extremely slow and hit like an absolute truck. As soon as they touch the bots, the bots are dead. Pretty much. So I can't get that close. Maybe rocket launcher would be a better good uh, better idea at this stage. It's got more range. And we've got the production scale that I'm not, like, feeling the cost of these rockets much. It's more our time that's important. Speaking of which, I forgot we have artillery. We've probably got some ammo lying around. Um, that would probably be ideal for removing these nests. They're extremely dense and we can very easily protect the artillery as long as we're patient enough to stand around while the artillery does its thing. Um, but we're really close to our walls right now as well, so... We don't even need many defend. Oh, we do have 27 at the moment. But I was going to say, I don't think we even need very many to keep the biters from reaching us if we stand still. Okay, that's actually more than half a stack of rockets that we've used, though. 
still, it was the easier and faster way to clear this. And I think that's more important at this stage. Would an arty train be a benefit? Uh, I think at the moment I prefer to just put the arty down manually because I don't have to deal with building tracks and like a, a, a defensive fortification for it. I'm really looking forward to making uh, a battleship this playthrough because we've got combat mechanics overhaul. Um, not to mention some like huge, uh, what are they called? Laser artilleries. Um, all right, let's head these guys off at the pass and we'll come back with walls and ammo. Once we create a bit of space here. And artillery as well. We'll just make the most of these bots' lifespans. really quite powerful. I guess having damage that scales with lasers, um, energy weapons, is going to keep them relevant for a lot longer. Oops, rip bots. 90 minutes till our first of two CMEs that we're going to be dealing with today. Back we go. Oh, I have an idea. Um, artillery shell. Uh, do I need to click this? Yeah. And now I have an arrow showing me exactly which way to go. Isn't that nice? Wait, what? Why did why did the arrow disappear? Oh, I guess it only lasts a little while. Even so, um, that was very helpful. I don't have to keep looking at the map. Alright, we have... Uh, what is this, 8 times 25? 220 shells or so? Where's our artillery? Where's our danger noodles, as Tamsil would say? Uh, danger noodles. Wait, wait, wait. I thought that was actually going to find something. I'd love it if you could make nicknames for things uh, with this factory, uh, factory search. If someone's about to tell- I thought it was going to crash. If someone's about to tell me that you can, then I'd be very excited. Why do we have zero artillery turrets still? Apparently the shells are a higher priority. Um, how about this? Who wants to try Factorio mod dev? Mod dev? Oh, as in, like, on stream? Depends on how difficult it would be to get the environment going, I guess. I haven't coded in forever, though. Um, is the recipe not gonna... Oh, it did change. Yeah, we're running out of the prerequisite. We've got 64. Okay. Uh, you know what? 
Let's just make a rule. Um, it's This is not going to be as good, as far as I'm concerned, as the version of... Where's my wire? The version of prerequisite rules that wouldn't require a single combinator for each rule, but I want this working nice and quick. So, shell. I need two of them, I think. I can't really do everything input count because... Alright, fine. Two decider combinators. Uh, if turret less than 10, output input count explosive cannon shell, that is what this is, right? Yes. And same thing for artillery shell, constant combinator, negative a million for each of those. remove it. If we don't have turrets, we're not going to try to make ammo, basically. I've got crafting combinator to, set to only refresh something like every 30 seconds. Um, so we should see that kick in shortly. We'll stop making ammo. Wait, what? Well, we stopped making ammo. Um, we're tr here we go, we can see right here, we're trying to make destroyer capsules, media defense installation ammo, turrets, turrets, and four more capsules. I can highly recommend the mod Manual Inventory Sorting. With that, you can let container be sorted when you open them. Sounds good. Can I get one that auto-sorts the Spidertrons as well? Um, so once it changes recipe, or once it checks, we should stop making poison capsules. And we're on destroyers now. Um, can we just stop with the destroyers for the moment though? The only trouble with having mod settings as opposed to timers, uh, to make it so that we don't spam recipe changes on the crafting combinators, is we can't, like, force it to update. It's just going to happen every 30 seconds. Let's get some defensive walls. Which, come to think of it, do we even have that automated? Well, we have them here anyway. We still have quite a few. Let's get this out of my inventory. Don't need the filtration plants either. Um, I will be needing these at some point. There we go. We're making artillery turrets again, and that is indeed how I got it stuck before. by shoving items into this so the stack inserter couldn't insert anything else. Okay. What does it take to make tier 3 speeds? Immersite. Vulcanite block. Alright, guess we're not making tier 3 modules for a couple of minutes. Uh, we have a whopping two artillery turrets. Let's just go for three. That should be enough. Well, make it four. As long as all of the manual orders I queue up in a fairly short time 
can get done. Uh, we need to go... We need to take some ammo as well. And... Whoops, went past it. Uh, I don't really need raw fish. I don't really need raw rare metals. I probably shouldn't put it in the requester chest. But he saw nothing. Okay, seems good. Uh, how many danger noodles do we have? Five? Five is good. Um, and I'll switch this back on as we leave. And I'll take whatever other artillery ammo. We've got another ten. Cool. Away we go. The Spidertron is also a container. Yeah, but I was hoping to not have to just manually... Oh. Huh. This thing's still sitting here. Huh? Is this not connected? What are you looking for? Uh, dirty water. Oh. Oh. I see. Dirty water. Greater than zero. There we go. And this is flowing, but maybe we're looking for too much copper ore all at once. Oh, I see the problem. We didn't... We didn't read from that container as well. It's probably going to be fine now. Alright, back to military things, which we probably shouldn't be putting off. Have you ever played Hyanodon? I have not. Ancient Phoenix Dark, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thonion, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Me like too, indeed. Uh, where are we going? This way... And still got plenty of ammo here because nothing ever comes this way. Let's just put our ammo in here. And then... Oh, hello. Lend a laser over here. Let's get uh, some bots to repair the walls. And put some turrets down. Oh. There we go. They don't have that much auto range, really? No, oh, it's just outside of auto range. Kind of. Okay. Hmm. I was kind of hoping to use the auto range, to be honest. And I guess we can pull them away from this wall that is... has been struggling a little bit with the attacks over here, but I don't think they're struggling when it's just um, regen biters, though. Let's get a little bit closer... It's these guys that are making the difference. As weak as they look. Okay. Um, I will take advantage of this terrain. Is that too close? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. It's fine. I'll just do what I need to do to chip away at this. Actually, if I look using... Not the navsat, but the map zoomed in. And turn on turret range. 
Yeah, we can see it there. Okay, so all of this is within range. Uh, within the minimum range. So we're not going to get clapped by artillery standing here. Or hovering here. Probably should put my shields on, but um, I actually feel like it's just going to make me more reckless. There we go. Shields up. Oh, that base is gone. That didn't take long. I guess we will turret creep over this way. Um, this looks like a good spot. Actually, let me see the range. Oh, that's perfect. For the auto range, that is. Jetpack feels so sluggish now. Maybe you could add a sound bit of to battle or a war cry for channel points? That makes sense. I'm thinking Warcraft 1, the knight saying to battle. Alright, we just have to be a bit patient here and protect the turrets. Don't let someone sneak up on them. I think we may need more Daka. Or more Zappa. Fantastic. That's that one. This is definitely easier. <laughs> Especially against regenerative biters. They're not all that for attacking. Yeah, I think this is the way to go, honestly. much easier to set up than... Especially when we've got limited artillery range. We've only got, like, one range upgrade, if that. This is much easier than an artillery train. The lower jetpack speed, I'm not as tempted to go too far. Myclat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just heading to sleep. Have a good stream, Marino. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you sleep well. As I zoom in on the artillery and make a bunch of noise. Uh, this stuff is within minimum range. Let's just pick it off. And I'm surprised the uh, biters here didn't attack us in response to the artillery. Uh, we've only got 30 shells left already. That was a little bit loud. But still, uh, definitely a bit easier to clear even considering the time it takes to bring the artillery and stuff. Are we out of shells? Not quite. Not quite. 
got what, 13 shells remaining. to the usual methods until we go back and find more artillery shells later on. Maybe I should get some belt automation for the artillery shells. these common biters coming from? Way back here. Nice. I wonder how many shells we've produced since I came over this way. down to seven bots. That's not good. There we go. So many biters. Uh, maybe it's flamethrower time. Very effective against the regions. It's nice of them to stay together for you, definitely. I wish I could get more range or just have the fires burn longer. We're not really worried about the damage, the damage is way more than enough if we're using flamethrower against regen biters. Oh, look at that lovely sight. I feel like I should give people content warnings, considering how... Uh, this site over here tends to sort of trigger people's... What's the word for bug o -phobia? Like creepy crawly phobia? I didn't even think about it till you said something. I think I've, I think every time I've like zoomed in on them when they're doing that, like twitching in a big mass on top of a nest, uh, someone's commented something to the effect of, "Yuck, that's really disturbing." Pretty sure it's creepy crawly phobia, <laughs> indeed. Let's get the let's get the common nests out of the way, nice and quick and easy, and get rid of a a more potent threat. What 
Well, if I didn't have this creepy crawly phobia before. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Common nests up here. I'll get these few nests before we go up there. And then once we clear the commons, we'll get back to building. Little by little, we are thinning the swarm. Oh, that was bad. Uh, I do have 200 rockets again. Let's use those. Oh, that's not rocket launcher. How much range does this have? It does take a lot of rockets, though. Maybe I should just wait till I have artillery shells to attack the regen nests. This one's almost gone, though, really. Hard to even see them. Tank a few hits so the bots can get. Oh, absolutely wiped out, actually. Rip. Peace through superior artillery. It's gotta smell so bad. It's. I'm not going to disagree with that. Oh, what's this? We found uh, something for our one destroyer to do. <laughs> well, this is a breath of fresh air in terms of how easy it is to clear. get far enough away from the worms they go back into hiding which means if you rush them they don't get to shoot okay uh, just a few nests up here and I think we're done Get that. Oh, hello. Poison biters. 
that's probably how we saw many bits of wall getting damaged at the same time. In we go. I keep waiting for that one uh, destroy capsule to die. Here we go. So I can get another five out without wasting one. I'm always surprised at how long they last. Fantastic. Nice and easy. On to the next lot. We did lose a few there. I was hoping to delete those worms before they reacted. Yeah, I was definitely too greedy there. We hit that one before. Ray Guard, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Let me just pause it real quick, give you a shout out. How's your stream today? Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Code Green, welcome, welcome. This one's kind of chunky. We're, get, we're starting to see a lot of really big worms. We're going to be more heavily incentivized to use artillery. Pretty good, got space science almost fully automated. Next step is automating rocket launches, then going to the Cryonite planet. Nice. So not that far behind me, actually. Uh, we've gone to the Cryonite planet, but we have to come back. Well, we didn't strictly have to come back ever, but I would prefer not to totally abandon Nalvis. Um, and I want Nalvis to be sending everything we can in uh, delivery cannon capsules we're going to send to the cryonite planet that's going to become our base but before we do that we do need to set up a oh rip uh, a decent amount of industry yeah I should watch out for those uh, crab biters they can, like, one-shot the drones. Quite a lot of biters here, considering how little nest remains. Ouch. Ouch. Don't fall because of the uranium. And let's just get on the water so we're not going to die suddenly while we look at the map. As far as I know, we've got rid of all the common biters. Oh, these are all commons, aren't they? Oh, no. Um, that's not that close. But while we're here, it might be worth them. There's our poison biters. Oh, and there's those turrets that I left here earlier. I think they're on this island? 
Yeah, there they are. Nice. Is this Nervous or the Cryo Planet? Everyone thinks it's the Cryo Planet because we we've got so much snow. I was worried that creep was spawning on other planets, which isn't supposed to happen, really. Alright, let's go hit the common nests. Actually, I'm sure we can afford to put them off a bit longer. Let's go do some building. I want to do some building. Oh. And more jetpack would be a good idea at the moment. Let's be careful about where we fly, though. We're not home yet. Diagonal, so we can see where we're going quicker or further. Okay. I don't have any rail on me. I can make a hundred. Oh, that's that's not crafting menu. Yeah, I can make these with without having to craft steel beams. That's good. All right, which block are we still building? Uh, the short train depot. And Robo Ports. Rayguard, I'm working with a quadruple nested table in this algorithm. Sounds delicious. Is that really all the rail that I just handcrafted? I guess so. Let's go back and get some more, and we'll also uh, bring some stuff to make... Uh, bring some trains, rather. We're not going to handcraft the trains. Working on a mod to automatically fix the tech tree. Fix the tech tree. Did anyone already play Crestorio 2? I'm trying to build the singularity modules. But the need... So that's like super late game, right? I don't know, personally. I would imagine something called a singularity module is late game. Uh, how many shells do we have now? Zero? Okay then. Late game balance kind of insane, you need a ton of resources. Fair enough. Uh, we need some rail, and what else? Pretty much just rail. What else are we trying to build right now? Nothing as far as I can see. Um, has this been working? Oh no. I forgot to connect this wire. Uh, where are we going to send this train? To get our chlorine back in. We've got room here. We can make it happen. So... Shift-click that. Wait for empty. And then go to depot. And I'll have to temporarily set this to chlorine. Actually, I think the signal's going to be the same. Since it's not being sent here by a LTN schedule, we should get a positive signal of chlorine from the output. Yes, we do. Fantastic. So I just have to turn these around. All right, let's go grab our rail. And 
figure out what we're doing next. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, give to me some trains, please. Where are the wagons? Wagons. I'm doing this at the moment because I want fluid wagons, but what about cargo? There we go. Kel Poe, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's grab our little imprintarino. Oh, am I going to need a pickup for the fuel that accepts both lengths of train? That was easy. Uh, we'll do. Four LCLs and four LFLs. Why is this one off center? Is it off center? No, it's not. Uh, and let's give him some fuel to get started, I guess. I suppose there was no reason to make a short train version of this drop-off station, now that I think about it. So this should immediately be scheduled to go get fuel. Yes, fantastic. Automatic go. And... There's no path, is there? We need to finish the rail. Away we go. Fantastic. And what are you doing? Oh, you're going to a depot? Wait, weren't you already th there? Wait, what? Uh, okay. That works, I guess. Cool. So we have short trains now. And what else are we doing? We have delivery cannon capsules. Um, I haven't done ingots for iron, copper, and steel. What's this train doing? No path? Where are you trying to go to? Oh. We can fix that. How is this no path? Oh, I think I see. Wait, no I don't. Oh, I would have thought... These signals would say that the train could leave this way, but apparently not. In that case, I guess we could just remove these two, and the train might take this path as a shorter route. I think we're about to find out. One point five K, two K, fan. Fantastic. It is still doing the weirdest path to get to that train stop. Oh well. I'm surprised how much dirty water we need to deal with. Maybe I didn't overbuild here. are pumping it, yes. It's quite the difference those four piles of pipe make to the throughput. Normally it takes like a second to load fluid. It's 
So how long does it take for this to go through 50k? 600 per second? Not that long. Uh, 83 seconds, as a matter of fact. Yeah, this is pretty good. Airpole, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I still haven't done the uh, overflow crusher thing. But it seems like it's working itself out already. Yeah, no, this seems... This seems fine for now. We're up to 68k Pyroflux without ever going to a planet for it. I don't know what to do with it yet, to be honest. Um, but yeah, what are we going to send via delivery cannon? We need three types of ingots. I still need to build those. Uh, stone... Brick and concrete. I think I do have stone brick in the rail network. Uh, yes, I do. Could probably do the same for concrete. Can we fit a block here? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, we could we could do that. Sure. Nice and close to the water for the concrete. Let's design this block real quick. Uh, so what is concrete? I think it's iron, steel, water. It doesn't show the recipe there. Concrete. Iron stick. I'm not going to put iron sticks in the rail network. I think everything else is already in there. Um, so we're going to go with... Iron. Concrete. Iron, stone brick, sand, and water. Iron, stone brick. Sand. And water. Uh, probably won't have it delivered by train. We'll see what kind of rate we end up with. That's not quite right. Stone brick. Whoops. Sand. Set sand. And we'll want the usual layout. Uh, what's the best build to steal this from? Probably one of the higher throughput ones. I remember concrete being surprisingly fast. We could probably steal from stone brick. So this has room for uh, tier 1 or tier 2 beacons, or a tier 2 beacon. But we need a assembly machine, actually. Gazalnik, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Two months, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Oh, this doesn't have the fluid output, uh, the fluid input on the sides. That makes it harder, because we can't do this pattern. 
I mean, obviously on the outside we can just do it like this. But on the inside we're not going to have room to do that. Hmm. Unless we use... Uh, I don't like this. Throughput isn't as high as I thought it was. We need four inputs. Well, this layout's not going to do the job. Um... Uh, three solid inputs. Two, five, and ten. So send should probably have its own belt. And we'll use long arms for the other stuff. I don't think we can use long arms like this. Um, we can probably make it wider. It would go here. Is that going to work? I think it is. Long arms, like so. And output is going to be pretty straightforward. But... Can we do this even further apart? We can. Okay, cool. That should be easy enough. Can we do better? What if when we give it modules, it goes too fast for the long arms? Can we prod module these? We cannot. Which means it's going to go really fast if we module it. Um, I don't know that we should necessarily design it for speed nines. Yeah, maybe we should. Which is going to have an awful lot of throughput. Ninety three per second. <laughs> so this is more than the fastest belt in the game, even with K two. Eighty per second, sure. Just one of these is fifteen point six. So if I think we would want loaders to output, in which case, what are the pipes going to look like exactly? I'm hoping there's going to be room for something like this. Oh, we have to... We have to merge it with splitters if it's going to be that fast eventually. Which means significantly more space. Unless we can somehow... I can't connect this here, right? I don't think so. That's two whole extra tiles. 
for the underground belts. Um, we can't do a consistent pattern where, like, it escapes this way. On the plus side, I was going to say we could fit basic beacons, um, but I don't think that's true. If a basic beacon was here, it still already wouldn't reach these two. Um... Surely there's a way. Oh. Have the water input on the input side? That's probably the way to go. But even so, um, we need this one tile further in. If the beacon is to touch. Which means... If we're going to have the loader with proper merging... That's tricky. Maybe we don't have to have it consistent all the way down like this. Let's say we just do them in sets of eight. Uh, the maximum that we can easily fit under a beacon. A baby beacon. And... Hold on. Surprising development? Question mark? Okay, I don't love the look of that, but it's functional. Everything gets to use both sides of the belt. Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, I think I changed my mind. That actually seems pretty good. Doesn't take up that much space. There's a symmetry to it. Uh, we get efficient usage of early beacons. We just have to make room for the water input. So how about this? I could even tuck this in a bit. If I use some undergrounds. That's kind of hideous. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get away with using one extra tile here. So how much, uh, how much water are we talking? 625 for one eighth. Yeah, we're going to need, like, four offshore pumps to feed this when we end up going fast. That's probably fine. But this is already as far away... Oh, that's okay, actually. Yeah, that actually seems alright, except the pipes being connected like that might not be great for water flow. Then again, we could always use space pipe uh, to reduce the number of connections. It's probably fine. 
probably. It's only 625 for this. That's not that hard. Okay. So this would go over here. And this goes over here. Oh wow, that is wide. Um I think for the concrete build, we're going to step away from trying to fit it neatly in a half block. We're just going to take the block. That seems okay. And if it's going to be that fast later on, we can feed it with multiple train stations. So why don't we just put this in the middle to start with? Um, can we get the exact middle? That looks right. Is this it? Yes, it is. Okay. And twice more with feeling. Probably put that a bit closer. No harm in it. Actually, how much... Is that going to be a throughput problem for the input belts? Each column requires... Uh, 62 stone brick per second. 125 sand. That's too much. I guess we just won't go that far. Oh, what if we had efficiencies? That's probably a good idea. Just enough to get minimum power consumption. Uh, exactly one belt of sand. That's good. That's really good. Half a belt of stone brick, and less than that of iron stick. 900 water per second. Should be doable with the shape of things here. Um, let's have a nice big... Oh, we can't have this symmetrically. At least, not this way. It's going to be a bit bursty, right, when we make our concrete, especially in a rail block. Can we not have... I guess not. Yeah, there's no, there's no container that lines up with two... Oh, I guess we could use vanilla storage tanks. That sort of works. Okay. Uh, so... What I might do in the short term... For our basic design, we're just going to have assembly twos, and we're just going to do half of it. but it's plain to see where we're going to extend it. And I guess for consistency's sake, we do this.
just double check those beacons fit nice. So we are still doing the half block with room for expansion thing, it's just that the final product will all fit under one wide area beacon. Now then, we do need some machines to make iron sticks. Uh, only 2.4 per second here. Actually, no, I'm not even going to worry. There's plenty of room to add production for iron sticks here, even super late game. Um, but for now, does that actually, doesn't direct insert, right? How about this? What's the ratio? Three per second versus only two point four per second. But if I do just one machine, that's probably fine actually. Even when it scales up. Oh my goodness. Iron plate. That's iridium plate. There we go. Iron stick. Uh, sand goes in the inner inputs. What the? And... One off. I'm pretty sure the wide area beacon... Yeah, we can't move this over. Sadly. Is it just gonna have to turn a little corner? Actually, can we do blues just so that the underground belt reaches all the way? Blue belt only. That's iron. Sand goes here. Whoops. That's not sand. And the other thing was... It's actually a shared belt. Stone brick. This might be easier. Cleaner looking. That's much better. And then... I don't suppose it's going to mirror on the opposite side all that well. Ah, needs to go over here. So something like... This might look better. This is already as far over to the side as it can go. So we'll just do it like that. And delete this, put it back. Oh, oh no. I wasn't wanting to 
to do that. There we go. We're definitely not going to have a train drop off the water for this build. It's too fast. Let's give it some power. Oh, that fits so snug. Oh, I love this. Still leaves room for the beacon. And what's our output going to look like? I guess we need a 4 to 4. But, as always... That is a huge storage. But it would be the cleanest looking way to... Oh, it's not actually going to be balanced if we do that. No, I think we will actually use a balancer this time. Because we need to do a 4-4 four to four regardless. Don't need a lane balancer though, just a belt balancer. Why have I got two of these? It's a mystery. Alright. Water for belt balancer goes here, and can we actually... I don't think we can. We might be able to fit our beacon. No, we can't. Not the way I was thinking of. Let's just move this down a tile. Why will using a warehouse not make it balanced? Um, the warehouse doesn't necessarily output everything in a balanced manner with the loaders, does it? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's put some belt here, and void, and 200 sand. I guess that does work. Oh. Oh. Um, that's even better than expected. I thought it would only output in a balanced matter... At mana if um, if it, if the output was saturated basically or rather the the warehouse had enough to saturate the output I have basically zero balances in my base Seems to work for me, but I'm using mini loaders. It works great. Yeah, uh, this seems to work pretty well as well. Loader's pretty smart, it seems, indeed. I wonder if... I know the, uh, like, behind-the-scenes bulk rail loaders and unloaders are sort of technically doing something with um, inserters like stack inserters, or so I've heard, that's how they benefit from stack size. I could be wrong, but it makes sense if the loaders are taking advantage, if the loaders are basically using the same code, the same logic as inserters, uh, I don't remember exactly what patch it was, but it used to be if you had a pair of, un of inserters taking from uh, an assembly machine, they wouldn't take turns, it'd just be one of them had a higher priority. But these ones are taking turns. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Surprisingly good. So we could have just a ludicrous amount of storage here if we want. Um... 
I understand that big containers are not necessarily good for UPS, but like infinite splitters are not necessarily good either. Can always limit the storage space, that's true. Alright, let's uh let's maybe go for the cleanest looking build we can do. So underground down to here. And Oops. Why don't I just copy this? And over here as well. That looks a lot neater to me. Don't know about you guys. Looks nice and clean indeed. Fantastic. Alright, concrete. What, how do I keep getting caps lock turned on? I did briefly consider using caps lock for my microphone mute shortcut, but... Moments like this have persuaded me not to. Alright, we will need lighted substation right about here that's that's very neat that is extremely neat oh i forgot um we'd want to leave room for the beacon I could actually have water storage all the way. You know what? It's going to be fewer containers, uh, which would mean better water flow and more UPS friendly. If I have large storage tanks like this, I don't suppose the huge ones line up particularly well. No, definitely not. So now we're going to have a ton of storage. We can't do it in the middle though, can we? It's going to be like this. <coughs> Excuse me, I think a moth flew into my mouth or something. Nice to see scaling being built in. Should help with UPS in the late game. I hope so. Alright, I think uh, I think now would be a good time for a little break. Let's just make sure nothing broke recently. Uh, the last thing we lost was destroyer capsules. And a few walls. That's fine. Pardon me, that was nasty. Captain Tree, good to see you again. I'll just get words on stream set up.
Okay, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
nicely done. One more and I think I'll have my voice back properly and we'll get back to Essie. Fantastic. All right, let's continue, shall we? Where were we? I think we were designing... Oh, yes. Uh, we were designing concrete. And I think it's pretty much done, actually. Did I finish the concrete build? Pretty much. Lolilo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Left side missing a belt for sand. This one. Indeed. Uh, we don't have water for testing either. We should probably do that. And I think, uh, tri Trumi, SB, trim Trumisb, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, there's not actually going to be a container that fits there particularly nicely, I don't think. So I guess we'll do this. Alright, so we should see all of these machines in motion. Looks not that good, but we don't have a proper water throughput just yet. There we go. Alright, so let's do the station name. We need uh, iron, stone brick, and sand. We're not going to deliver water, that's going to be too slow. 
assembly machine making concrete. And we need to request all of these things. Uh, say two train loads of each. I think we can fit eight train loads in total, so that should be safe. Stone brick will be the same amount. And uh, sand stacks to 200, I believe. So 32k. Seems good. Station name is correct. Wiring is good enough, actually. Uh, we do have nothing to balance with sand leaving on this side only. Same for stone brick. Um, so what I might do is arithmetic combinator each divided by negative two Output each. And we're going to read from... Oh wait, there's no room to do it with the way I've done sand here. Unless I have a wire going all the way up here. Um, we could probably change that a little bit. is going to connect to just one of these each. Green wire is going to connect like so. And this is going to give us the negative average of what's in the containers. So, and this is going to give us the positive of what's in the container on this side, the red wire is. So if sand is greater than or equal to zero, if stone brick greater than or equal to zero, that will keep the output balanced. And this right here, oh, huh. I thought this would keep the output balanced, the iron plate. But apparently it's favoring one side completely. Um, what if I do this? Is that going to consume equally? I believe it does. Yeah, it's, it's taking turns between these two. So that'll keep itself balanced as long as the input is balanced. Top side output not connected to bottom. Top side output. Oh, this one? That was just measuring where the other half of this is going to be. Um, maybe... Uh, I'm sure if we have an offshore pump connected here... It's not going to be a problem. 
the concrete output. Oh, true. Oh, true. Oh, no. Um, so all of this adds up to one belt, right? Or a bit less than one belt. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think I said hello, Talon Grandmaster, but welcome anyway. Alright, so this actually should be moved down a bit. I think one tile is probably going to be enough. Or is it? Um, we just need one belt for four. So this is going here. We need another tile. Why are we bunking? Shiloh. Check. Good. Duh. Welcome, welcome. Just put one belt in the middle, but we need two belts from up here. Are these just gratuitous bonks, or am I missing something? Okay. That's gonna look like that, and... And this is why we test. Cool. Alright, let's blueprint this thing. Um, I'll see if I can remember to get rid of the cheat items first. And I think we're ready. Snap to grid 8624. Train stop names. Concrete. Basic concrete. And I think we are done. Into the blueprints with you. And... Oh, it's so dark over here. Uh, and let's put our concrete block here. Okay, let's go build it. Emo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to need a warehouse. Probably going to need to go back for more blue belt. The rest should sort itself out. Do I have beacons yet? I don't. Feels weird. Feels very weird. We've already got three trains coming with... Oh, with different resources. This is fine. I need to pipe over the water as well. Um, I think we calculated... That we needed, like, four offshore pumps for each side, or was it... One offshore pump for each side. Like, eventually. But for now, it's going to be super easy anyway. Um, do I have some steel underground pipe? I do. Fantastic. Let's just go over here. Maybe this one would line up better. Can we put an offshore pump there? think we can. Oh, so close.
This is this is fine. Uh, can we handcraft any of these containers? That's a no. Just have to go back for those. So we're looking for belt and large storage tanks and rail. We can handcraft some rail. Always carry steel beams. Love your crafting combinator series. Thank you, Hux. You're welcome. Feels weird, man. Wait, what feels weird? I think I said something feels weird. But it's already slipped my brain. Uh, Lazaric, name and base, no worries. Here's to distracting you from what you're doing. How dare you? Lazaric. Trains are bringing in the goods. We also need a offshore pump. And we'll need some power poles to reach it as well. There's our water. Or at least that will be our water once we bring back 10 storage tanks and a bunch of blue belt. And it looks like we've got enough rail for this block to be functional, actually. Lazaric. <laughs> That's slow reading. I was counting the letters that I need for the uh, text plate. You just needed to clap your hands while saying it. Best one I've heard of my name was Lazy Eric. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's copy-paste, and... Lazaric. Fantastic. Let's go get some uh, blue belt rails and large but not huge storage tanks. Many can't say Lolilo. Many ways. Lol lit. Lol lol. <laughs> lol lol. Beautiful. Uh, what do we got? Blue belt. Give to me blue belt. And oh, we're still making ammo. How much have we got? Eighty. That's pretty good. Uh, what's the... Here it is, large storage tanks. That should be enough to finish the build. Also? What about Lolilo? Maslander, good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. water I think. I can actually click here to see if it's all connected before the water flows over here. I don't know if it's been asked yet but how are you? Uh, pretty good. I had a I think a moth flew into my mouth or something earlier so I've been struggling a little bit since then but not that bad. Aziz Light, Aziz Light Ragamuffin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How did the CME look on your energy usage? Uh, it hasn't happened yet, I don't... Oh. That was... That was a quick 90 minutes. Uh, I think we have another one coming still. No, we tanked both of them. I didn't even notice. Oh, no. Um, 
Oh, that's terrifying. That is terrifying. We... Uh... We're out of power? We ran out of our steam batteries. Let's see. Umbrella. Why don't I see... Do I have to look at this power network to see the umbrella because they're disconnected? Is this why power networks get so UPS expensive? Um, we tanked one two minutes ago. Or is it just trying to charge? Or is the fact that the power network got disconnected, did it delete all of the history? Is that how that works? With the power switch? Um, where is the umbrella? No, here it is. So, 23 hours ago... 3.5 minutes ago it spiked. This is... looks kind of weird. I was doing well on the CME, repaired it all, but lost a requester chest. Rip. It only used 40 kilowatts? Or 40 megawatts? Yeah, I don't know. I am very confused. Um... Well, as... I, okay, we can check kills. We can see if anything was destroyed on our side. It's still just the stuff that the biters have killed. The fact that we've got zero steam in here is very alarming. Um, it tells me we did not get through the entire CME. But... I don't think we took any damage. Or at best, something got damaged but not destroyed. I think it was an Orbit CME. There was one Orbit CME and one Nauva CME. Uh, and they were very close together. We can check Orbit. Uh, orbit looks fine. Thank goodness, because that's where I left the ship. Um, but yeah. We don't have another one until one day, and that's Vazanus, which we don't have anything at Vazanus. Uh, another one headed for Nalvis in... In two hours. Why does the one that's one day away show up first in the list? Probably because this one was added after the previous... Okay, well, we have to look into our power situation. Concrete is doing just fine. It looks like. I like how organized this is. Although the... Oh, it's still saturating for the iron sticks. That's okay. Maybe you don't have enough power generation? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Um, I mean, if we did have enough power... Oh. Uh, oh? The fact that steam... The fact that the electric boilers are connected implies we're doing okay for power at the moment. So we're starting to bank steam, but the steam turbines are consuming it, weirdly enough. Okay, we are starting to bank steam, that's good. How many turbines do we have? 243 times 10 megawatts, 2.4 gigawatts. Um... 
So we can definitely keep up with the peak, which just means we need enough stored energy um, to tank the whole thing. Uh, I should probably just add more solar panels still. We don't need these point defenses anymore. Let me go ahead and grab that blueprint again real quick. It looks something like this. Snap to grid relative twenty one twenty one or is it twenty twenty? I think it's 2020. Seems good. Let's go grab some solar panels. Where did that blueprint I had go? It's in the navsat, isn't it? That's a good place for it. Let's get the bots to do their part. I have no plans of extending the bus anymore, but if we do have to, it won't be difficult. We can kind of fit this here. should put the umbrella into both networks. The umbrella consumes 10 megawatt constantly. Uh, yeah, the power network over here, it, it does connect to the rest of the base. It's just that um, we prioritize the rest of the base over, um, over banking steam. So we've got a power switch RS latch here. Um, if accumulator charge is full, start pumping power into steam. If it drops below 80%, switch it off until it's full again. So the fact that it's disconnected right now, apart from the fact that it's nighttime, um, but if it's disconnected a lot of the time, it means we need to be adding more power. Maybe not just solar. Whoops. Oh no. That made a little bit of a mess of my inventory. But actually it's probably fine. Especially considering the bots don't have trouble transporting things at such a short distance. Okay. Um, nice clean inventory then. Let's grab our solar panels. What's the ratio on this blueprint? 32 to 29. It's almost 1 to 1. Let's take 10 stacks of each. He's jogging on the main bus. The friendly biter is still alive. Yeah, he's getting his exercise. This is why we have to defend Nalvis. We must protect Biter Friendo. Where is Biter Friendo? Oh, there he is. Good boy. I'm definitely glad I'm doing these uh, wind turbines in the rail blocks thing because I haven't thought about power in ages and that has definitely mitigated power collapsing because I don't think about it. Uh, I think it's enough for, for a lot of these blocks. Oh, the air filtration is working again, because we're dealing with dirty water. That's good. Uh, I think it's probably enough in most of those blocks to pay for the minimum power consumption at this stage. So 
So instead of just adding a constant drain, or adding, yeah, literally constantly adding a constant drain to our power network when, whenever we add a block, um, we probably more or less break even or get slightly ahead. For the power cost when things are idle, at least. And that's already been 10 stacks of solar panels and accumulators. That didn't take long. How's Hagen? Hagen's fine. Uh, Hagen has zero... Oh, wait. I was going to say, Her Hagen has no biters, but we also have to think about delivery... I always want to call these delivery cannons. Um... <laughs> We, we have to worry about meteor deliveries from space. Uh, so we're down to 15 plus 4 times 8. Meteor defense installation ammo. We need to get back there. In the relatively near future. Um, give me more solar panels. And accumulators. Vlad, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. When you power your umbrella only with steam power, it is inefficient. It's better to power the umbrella with solar and have the steam boiler as backup. Uh, yeah, we do. It's only... Like, when it's connected so that we are charging so that we are gaining steam. The whole power grid is supporting the umbrella. So we're just losing a bit of steam to the idle uh, power draw of the umbrella when we disconnect that, but I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I guess I could go to the trouble of... This would need to be in both power networks. We could do this. And that way we're not going to consume the steam. Or not going to consume the steam as much. When the power switch disconnects. But it's not going to make that much of a difference. Correct, that's what I mean. Fantastic. Can we get more... I'm just going to leave this. It's fine. The fancy solar panels are still out of reach, yes. I think we need Immersite to make the first tier of fancy solar panels. Um, solar panel. Yeah, the, uh, the flat solar panel requires Holmium plate, Holmium cable, multi-spectral mirror, advanced solar panel. For which we need imacite and nitric acid on top of a regular solar panel. We are really not gaining steam very quickly. This is suboptimal. Especially considering the next CME is two hours away. Um, should we maybe do... What other options do we have for power? If we're thinking of doing some polluting coal plants, maybe we should just do... Uh, what is it called? I'm blanking on the chemical name. Biomethanol. 
but I think this pollutes quite a lot. Let's see. Fuel pollution 80%. And it's giving us 4.5 megawatts. I think that's going to add up to quite a lot. Oh, and the fuel refineries themselves. Pollution 1.6 per minute, minus 20%. That doesn't sound like that much. Steam turbines themselves don't pollute, but the boilers do. 1.5 megawatts. So three of these. Fuel pollution 90%. Okay, biomethanol is, uh, cleaner. In theory. If the difference between the extra machines needed isn't more than that 10%. If the steam engines have stopped, it means we're banking steam. But we're losing steam, so what's happening? Or is it just flowing down this way? Yeah, it's flowing down this way. We need a bigger surplus than this. I think we just keep spamming solar panels. We've got a lot of space that we can use for this. I mean a lot. I'm not going to try and build rail blocks down here, I don't think. So... Let's build a row over here. this. Seems good. Hopefully those pipes don't interrupt something like a substation. Do you need pump jacks for the bioethanol or is it all bio? Uh, we can get, we can turn water into wood and water into steam and that's basically it. There's just some steps after that. Uh, water only into wood. Oxygen from the atmosphere. Water into steam. These three things make biomethanol. And that just goes directly into the gas plant. So if you use this many uh, greenhouses, it is actually 100% renewable. Just like solar panels, you never have to touch it again. Or worry about a resource running out. Get back in my inventory, please. Fantastic. Okay, I hope this will be enough of a surplus. Yeah, that's looking a bit more promising. Luckily you don't get fog to kill solar production like in real life. Yeah, especially with all the pollution I'm making. <laughs> I think the rest of that is in the robot network. So the bots aren't jumping out to do it.
Still got some more solar panels. Over here, perhaps. one down there is connected, isn't it? Just barely. I didn't even bother with that. And we will need to help this one a little bit, I think. Go get some more. I can't believe how quickly we're emptying the chests full of solar panels and accumulators. I don't want to stand on the rail. There we go. So we should have, like, the top 30%, um, of the, what would you call that shape, of the solar panel curve, going into steam instead. Still not banking any, although it was just night time. We get rid of this. Fantastic. Uh, I guess not. There's probably some bots on the way from the other side of the base. Yep. Solar panels. We're actually out. That's all of our panels. Just had homemade sausage rolls for dinner. So good they were. Nice. How is pollution? Uh, pollution is probably looking a bit nasty. It's not as bad as I would have thought. Probably because... Oh, oh, oh. What's hurting me? Wait, what? Why am I dying? Um, hello? What? Uranium? Oh, no, 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 no. Bad bots. Bad bots. Oh, my goodness. The bots are trying to kill me. Okay. Okay. Luckily, when you hold the hot potato, it doesn't... It doesn't hurt for some reason. Uranium fever, indeed. Okay, let's, let's go put this away somewhere, as soon as the bots get in. I love the sheer panic. I mean, I was sitting in the middle of my base, surrounded by solar panels, and I just start dying. I had no idea why. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Give me those. Alright, I should probably put some shields on. Now then, how's our power network looking? That's what I want to see. Yeah, if we, um, if we don't disconnect the steam turbines at night, they're gonna basically act like accumulators every single night. 
and they're not as efficient in that respect. Looks like we are starting to gain some steam now. And it's draining. Well, I can I should point at this instead. We've got 75, 74, 75k steam. And that's what's detectable in the containers. There's a little bit more than that. 80k? 81? 82? Seems good. Do we have any more panels already, or is it not that fast? We have 15. That's pretty slow, actually. Okay. Uh, so the question was pollution. Yeah, I think our block of air purifiers have actually been doing really, really well ever since the pollution cloud spread enough that this is more or less in the center. Um, so we've, as you can see here, we've got a big pollution sink uh, in these two uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cells? Chunks. That's the word I'm looking for. Chunks. Uh, because these two chunks have got, like, negative pollution, the pollution from around them is sinking into it, basically. Chunks, indeed. Subhan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Shnunsky, welcome, welcome, also. Um, so what are we doing next? I think ingots. It's time to build ingots. For transportation purposes. Um, they're also probably more efficient than making iron and copper plates in the first place, even without bug modules, if I recall. Let's see. Industrial furnace. Um, oh, you can make it from enriched iron as well. Okay, we need enriched iron. Iron? Iron. We need enriched iron regardless. Also, we need pyroflux to make molten iron to get our ingots. Um, what was that other thing called that makes the ingots? Is this it? No, that's a research server. It's not an advanced uh, uh, furnace casting machine. Here it is. It does need a recipe set. Molten iron plus coke for steel. Molten iron itself. So iron and copper just requires the fluid. Steel requires coke as well, plus the molten iron. Um, and we need a small amount of pyroflux. I wonder if our pyroflux from core mining is actually already, like, a pretty good amount. We have been doing it for a while, but we've got 81k. Caster, indeed. I think I need to watch your circuit video. I really do not understand circuit networks, and I really want to learn to use LTN in my new base. I do have a couple of uh, episodes where I've done sort of a circuit network tutorial thing. I've wanted to do like a scripted one for YouTube, but I'm just not happy with the result. But I think I should probably just try it, right? Not worry too much about that. We could maybe do another one of those soon. Um, so what's our rate? 
we've got just the one core drill, 19.5 of these per second. That gives us just under four pyroflux per second. So I think for now, ingots are going to be more of something special. Just one furnace is going to keep up with all of the pyroflux on the planet at this stage. Don't understand circuits at all. Yeah, we can do we can do that from scratch, definitely. Uh let's see. I was last time I looked at this, I was looking at like trying to fit these together nicely, but not coming up with anything that I thought was good. The ratio is not that great. One machine makes 50 per second, and this consumes 10 per second. And there's four outputs, so that's definitely not going to work. Thanks for the gift sub, make a look a very happy, nice. Oh, hello, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. So, iron and copper, steel is the same, but we need coke as well, right? Oh, there's no such thing as molten steel. So we're just going to make molten iron, and then... What machine do we make? Uh, steel ingots in? A casting machine or a thermodynamics facility? Oh, right, this thing. So it's literally just add coke to iron. I guess that's the same as the regular steel plate recipe, right? Yeah, literally iron and coke. We need to make enriched iron and copper first. So let's focus on that. Um, enriched iron. Is this going to be the same pattern as the enriched recipe we already did? Solid, fluid, fluid, chemical plant, 9, 10, 25, 6, 25. 9, 3, 25, 9, 25. It's going to be close enough, I think, that we could just copy-paste the shape of it. And it's exactly the same. Like, it's just copy-paste, change the recipe for copper. All right, so where's our build for enriched rare metals? I think we need to go deeper. Enriched rare metals. If we simply change that to iron and change the input fluid. Uh, what's it going to look like rate-wise? Very slow sulfuric acid, very slow, pretty slow water. Uh, 72 iron in and out, 200 dirty water. Why don't I do it this way? Iron, copper, and rare. We've got 24 machines. Oh, I could do it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. No, wait, that's not going to be good. 24, 200, 200, 200. So dirty water stays the same. Uh, 72, 24, 72. Iron and copper is going to be the same. 
seventy-two, eighty, two hundred, forty-eight. Uh, yeah, the output is going to be faster, but I don't think that's a problem. We've got, we'll just have to put blue belts here. And I think the inserters will be able to keep up. Three per second should be fine. Uh, and we need to change the input fluid. So instead of hydrogen chloride, it is acid. Of the sulfuric variety. Um, and I think we could just do each on this combinator, actually. I guess you have to change your understanding about them and look at them differently. really don't know how to explain it. Is this for... Combinators? It just looks so easy when t hex or Mike or something do it. I guess you need to learn to understand how the math behind it works. Yeah, circuits, um, it's also that, like, like, say you have experience programming, for example. You have to learn to think about how to do something like this differently because um, you're trying to solve it with a very low level of programming. You can't, like, give them variable names and write a function and stuff. There's a lot of getting something to be above or below a certain value, like zero. Uh, especially zero, because, like, set filters is, on an inserter, for example, negatives are ignored and zero is ignored. Obviously, that's... there's no such thing as a zero signal. Um with Factorio, but anything less than one is ignored. So if you give it like a negative a million signal for something, you can basically blacklist uh, something that would be on the whitelist for an inserter. Um, what other general things can I possibly say about circuits? I mean, it takes practice, obviously. Um... But you end up, you end up with some sort of mental shortcuts, I guess. I forget where I saw this, but apparently if you show, uh, like Grandmaster chess players, a completely random chessboard for five seconds and ask them to recreate it they'll only do about as well as a complete beginner. I just want the basics like, to do like request demand for the LTM. Uh, request demand? Sure. So one thing that helps make it a lot more intuitive with LTN off the bat is if we have a provider station we just connect the containers to the LTN train stop input. Uh, and then there's some defaults. I, I strongly recommend, strongly, strongly, strongly recommend if you're going to use LTN, uh, go to the mod settings. Uh, and if not change, then at least read all of the settings. Because in my opinion, there are traps. Um, with, with the combination of settings as they are with defaults, it's gonna set you up to have things happen that, like, don't seem to make sense. Like, you're gonna have a train limit of one with ten trains queuing to drop off something at a station because it only waits ten minutes to decide that a train doesn't exist anymore if it takes a long time to get to the station. 
Um, but yeah, if you have a pickup station, you just connect it straight to the containers. So that's a positive signal. If it's a drop-off, it's negative, which is a little counterintuitive at first, but think of it as LTN is always trying to push this signal value towards zero. Um, and then I strongly recommend manually putting in request thresholds, provide thresholds. Um, I actually have it set to the default request thresholds and provide thresholds are basically set up so high that they never kick in. Um, so I have to manually provide it with these uh, so that I don't like accidentally have a train delivering 1,000 of something on a station that's not even supposed to be a provider, for example. There's delivery timeout I set as high as it would let me, because it basically assumes the train just disappeared forever. Uh, default 10 minutes I think is way too short. Stop timeout I switched off. Um, I definitely don't want trains coming back to the depot full of items if they fail to unload quickly. Um, what else? Finish loading. This is kind of the inverse problem. Whereby um, it'll keep... Like with the default settings, the provide thresholds and request thresholds are so low that you're going to be not filling up a train that is supposed to be filled up. And then it goes to pick up only a thousand items or so, but then the inserters keep swinging, so the train actually does get full. So then it sends it to a station that doesn't have room for a full train, and then it gives up after 120 seconds while the train is still mostly full, and then goes back to the depot full of items, and then gets scheduled to do another delivery with a train that isn't empty. It, it's... the default settings of LTN are all kinds of horrifying, to be honest. That That's like by far the biggest tip I could give, is read the mod settings. Seems like a very useful YouTube video where you walk through all the LTN settings, what you have them set, and why. Thank you. I mean, I did make that video, right? You're not saying that as a suggestion. I, it was a while ago. Does this not go anywhere? This underground? I guess not. Um, okay, so we're gonna do... let's just start over. Actually, let's not. There's gonna be a lot of similarities. We're doing iron. Uh, enriched iron. We are dropping off... Iron ore... and water and sulfuric acid, right? Iron ore, water, sulfuric acid. How do you keep fluids from cross-contaminating? You mean with this dual drop-off? Uh, the LTN logistic train stop output, uh, if you are dropping off a fluid, it'll give a negative one signal. It's emptying the train of that fluid. So I just set, connect the uh, pumps directly to that on this red wire and set it to, I actually forgot to set these earlier. So this one is supposed to be sulfuric acid. If sulfuric acid less than zero, if water less than zero. And iron, we don't need to worry about. I 
have this problem, it's annoying as hell. Which problem? Okay, I think I got some more understanding. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, that That's my little, I guess, heuristic? I, I don't know if that's the right word. Um, it, it, as long as you find it counterintuitive that the negative means requesting, um, just think of this. All it takes to do a provider station is connect the train stop input to a container, which gives it a positive signal. So a requester is the opposite, and it's always pushing it towards zero. Cross-contaminating fluids in station. Oof, owie. Uh, Alright, so I guess that's our enriched iron build already. Let's just make sure. I guess I should test it. Uh, where are our cheat items? This is sulfuric acid. And this is water. Uh, we don't need to like limit the water or anything, do we? No? It's not recycling. Uh, we do need to change this. So it's iron ore, right, that goes in? Yes. Iron ore. And two train loads? Oh, that's actually four train loads. 8k. It should be pretty slow, right? 72 per second is not that slow. It's more than a stack a second, actually. I might set this a little bit higher. But won't the less than zero condition trigger on a lube train that has no sulfuric acid? Uh, no. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That was a core fragment? Oh, whoops, thank you. Iron ore. Okay, so if you send a train to an LTN train stop with like a temp stop, uh, if, if a train arrives here at, like as a vanilla schedule, um, then the logistic train stop output will only give you a positive number for the fluid that's coming in. Um, but if it actually arrives here as part of an LTN schedule, if it's coming here to empty itself of uh, fluid, it's going to have a negative one for whatever fluid it's trying to get rid of. Morning slash evening, indeed. How did I... Oh wow, that's funny. <laughs> I think I had... I had my cursor in chat at some point, and I typed the, uh, this, the creeper emote. Yeah, SSS and tab. Because I didn't know where my focus was. Okay, are we done here? We just need to make this blueprint for both iron and copper. Basic enriched iron. Green stop names, yes. Snap to grid 8624. Wazda to you too, right? Ray is okay. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then let's put this in here. Um, and we just need to change the recipe and the requests. Copper. And the station name, preferably. Uh, 
um, copper ore and enriched copper. That should be it, right? I need to change this as well. Copper. I don't know if that would work with a generic. Oh, it should, because it's only receiving signals from here. Yeah, we could do, like, everything greater than or equal to zero. That should be fine, because it's not touching this. Well, this combinator does receive... Uh... A single value of green light, but it doesn't make it through this bit of math. Should be okay. 86, 20, whoops, 24, 86, 24, enriched copper, and I think that's it. I hope I didn't forget to change a name somewhere. Otherwise we have to start over because... Bulk rail... Weirdness. Oh, I think that's good. Okay. So we have those designed. Loving the progress I'm seeing here, although I've missed quite a few episodes. I work while you live... While you're live, usually. No worries, no afro, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Wazd, indeed. Don't forget to delete fluid inputs. Delete the fluid inputs. Oh, right, yeah, the, uh, weirdly enough, since I don't know what update, or a fairly recent one, you can't actually, like, copy-paste or include these in a blueprint. Um, so no need to worry there. But there might have been some cheat items uh, from testing. I didn't really test these, did I? But we based them off of enriched rare metals, which we know works. Hope you're well too. Thank you. Okay. So next is, well, next is the step with the Pyroflux. I feel a little weird about how big I'm going to build this, knowing that we've got almost no Pyroflux throughput on this planet for now. I think we should just make the ingots for sending to Hagen for now. And I could probably do a like a three in one here. So our inputs are enriched iron, enriched copper, pyroflux, and coke. True, but I spend that time playing Rocket League and Cyberpunk. Fair enough. What time was that, though? Wait, what? Oh, there it is. That's what YouTube is for? Indeed, indeed. It should be fine, copium. Wow, okay. Um, I don't think... Okay, how fast is this? Just one of these gives us 50 molten per second, which gives us... 0.2 ingots. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna build this as if we have good throughput, because we've already got a bunch of pyroflux banked. And each individual recipe doesn't use much. So let's start with 
Well, iron and copper are going to be the same, right? Yeah, iron and copper are exactly the same. Now, I should probably just design the steel one first, because it's going to be ex exactly iron plus coke, so it'll be slightly more complicated. And then we can just simplify that design. Alright, so Pyro Lux is going to come in this way. Um, I think I would like to theoretically center these around a beacon. I'll see. I still don't know if I want to... No, I think I do know, actually. I probably... Probably will just do the fluid and then the casting. If we're going to do all the inputs and outputs top to bottom, the coke is just going to go way down here. I guess that's fine. I do want to have room for basic beacons. That's not going to work. I'll probably move that over one. Uh, do we have space pipe? I mean, we don't have space pipe yet. Also, that doesn't fit so well anyway. Do this, yes we can. Which means this can be a bit closer actually. Which means it's close enough that the underground pipes look weird. What's our throughput? Yeah, I know the beacons aren't powered. Shush. Uh, I kind of forgot we need a physical input for these as well. 300 per second is not that fast though. Hmm, physical input. We could definitely widen this. And I imagine that the input is rather slow, 1.6 per second. I think, just to make sure we can scale it, we'll still have a belt that's nice and close. And nice and easy pipe management. I'll worry about this after we've done our first quarter. So this will look something like this. One fluid, one solid in, one fluid out. If I put this here... can squeeze this in a bit more. In fact... Oh, that's a... That's a good fit. I mean... We don't have to get more out of the beacon. I don't think. 
Maybe we could, actually. Hold on, why is... Oh, because this one's in a different spot. Where do we want our bacon? Probably down as far as possible. So that we could maybe have casters down the bottom. I don't think it's quite going to work out that way. Whoops. Oh no. There we go. Because I think we're going to need, what is it, five casters per industrial furnace? Oh, and bonus, we can... We can't module these as much. Are they even affected by beacons? Effect sources... One. Okay, yes. I guess we could see it by doing this. But we would need... Uh, 12 times 5... Brain no worky. 60. 60 casters to keep up with this? I don't think we'll be doing that, actually. That's 10. So I think we're just going to do fewer furnaces. That's fine. So what's this, 30? That's probably still too many. Oh, and we, we haven't even done the other side yet. Um, yeah. That's a lot. 425. Wait, 425? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 50 each times 6. Uh, times 6 is 300. We would need 30. So if we're going to do this on both sides, we need 60. Still. I, I don't see how that's going to work. That's 60 casters, right? Yeah. I guess we really just don't need many industrial furnaces. Molten iron, 50 per second. How much is that in ingots? 0.2. One ingot every five seconds. Um, but isn't that like a stack per second when we break it down to plates? Ingot. Iron ingot. One ingot makes 10 plates. And it stacks to 50. So one stack is 500. Yeah, one, one stack becomes five stacks. But I think that doesn't follow with what I was thinking about over here. No, it does. Um, 300. Wait, what? 300 molten iron per second is 1.2 stacks? Did I just misread that? And ingot is 10 plates. Where did I get 0.2? Oh, oh yeah, one furnace makes 0.2 per second. Um, so two plates? Two plates per second. That's pretty bad, actually. This is just going to be a really space... A really space-hungry build, I think.
Maybe I should do these steps in separate blocks. There are two things that molten iron goes into anyway. Or we could use a half block for this and a half block for the casting. Still don't know the best layout. Okay, well, if it's just iron, um, the fluid throughput is not that high, right? We would need, like, a hundred of these in a row for the fluid throughput to start getting to be anywhere near a problem. Transporting molten metal by train sounds fun. Yeah, this is the kind of thing we casually do in Factorio. Um, so we could do it like this. It's going to be more complicated with coke. To make steel, it's going to look like that. But I think we should just go for a different layout for iron versus steel, probably. Does the amount of iron that goes into it change? It does. Okay, that's kind of good. Crafting time 25 seconds, 100 seconds. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so how many do we fit around a beacon? No more than this. So this is, oh, we could do it a bit wider, of course. Um, I don't think it goes all the way out here, though. Oh! That's a surprise. Can we move this over a bit? Um, that is a lot that we can fit under one beacon. Although... I might want to move this down a bit just so that we can have underground pipes. And can we fit more of these here? We can. That's definitely the most we can fit. Now this looks weird. How many is this? 17. Why is it an odd number? That just feels wrong. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what would, what kind of rate are we looking at here? 1.3k molten iron and this is 300. Uh, so we could do 1.2k if we double this here. Okay, okay. Tell me more. Flip that around. Get this out of the way. Seven, three, then seven from top to bottom, three aligning with the beacon. Indeed. Seven, seven, three. Yeah. Uh, let's see how this fits. 
down here. Wasn't I going to put this further up or something? Or we could make it wider? Yeah, we could put that closer. If I swap these around... Oh, I see. We could put this one all the way up here. I kind of like having these pairs. If we're going to do that. And then... These... No, we need the fluid down here. Same as up here. Yeah, I like where this is going. Alright, so that goes there. And then these two, like so. I feel like connecting those, but it doesn't actually make sense. And then this goes down here. Is it really worth... Yeah, it kind of is. We don't have that much more horizontal space. It's not in the right place. I kind of want these to mirror what we did over here. Wait, that's not right. That looks a bit more consistent. And on the opposite side as well. That doesn't look right, because it's not. Fantastic. Alright, so what's the rate difference here? 1200 and 1.3k. Nice. I hope removing these or something is going to give us an, a zero ratio. 1.12k. How many do we need? 1200. Uh, 120? 120. And we have 130. We need to get rid of 10. 5 on each side. 5 out of 9. Which means we end up with 4. Um, which means we should be able to make it look fairly neat. I imagine. Can we make it symmetrical from both ends? I think this is it. Oops. Twelve hundred K molten iron. Perfect. 
All right, I might even bring this down a tile. Does that look good, or is it weird that it's, like, staggered over here? What do you guys think? Oh, I love that fit, though. I definitely appreciate the way that fits. And then... like so. 1200 per second, at least until we upgrade it, uh, shouldn't really be a problem. If we just pipe it in, probably don't even need a pump. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, we could have a quarter of it connect like this. That doesn't quite work out the same way. That's okay. And... I guess I can live with this. And up top, we want this to go through here. That's not the worst. I don't know, if I turn this around. I feel like that looks better. It's okay. Don't you want to align the beacons first? Oh, true. <laughs> oh no. So this one is actually one tile too high up to line up with where I like to put it. There are like two tiles out vertically, yeah. And this one needs to go up two tiles. And then we should have symmetry with the way we connect them. definitely like that better. That actually looks nice. I think. I could be wrong. Now, for the real nightmare, uh, we need to redo this for steel with coke input. Yay, indeed. Thank you, thank you. Um, Alright, so our inputs are one solid, one fluid. From up here. Fairly simple to arrange. Let's do it here. Um, like this. Or I could, no, because the this input belt in the middle, I definitely prefer to do it this way this time instead of having this over here. 
We're not going to have the highest throughput of Pyroflux, or either of the inputs for that matter. Alright then. We are requesting iron enriched iron. What does it stack to? 50? 50. A uh, couple of train loads should be fine with this rate. And pyroflux should be quite slow. So 1.5 train loads. Should be more than enough. How fast is it? 16 per second. Okay, yeah, we can definitely... Um, we'll replace it when it's down to 10,000. Plus Pyroflux Requester, and I'm just going to say Industrial Furnace making ingots, even though that's not quite how this works. Uh, so, Pyroflux. Iron plate? Where is our cheat? Infinity chest, there it is. Just trying to get rid of this blueprint, there we go. Enriched iron. We will be using these belts to get it out of there. Feels weird that there's no physical output from this. And now that I look at it, um, I guess we should have the output on this side, right? We could also... Tentatively, um, I'm thinking that... I should put the substations down before I get rid of the beacons. Does this reach? It does. Oh, how are we going to power this? Before we have pylon substations. Is that going to be a problem? Probably not. It's probably fine. Yeah, that's actually a bit easier than I thought it would be. Cool. Although, I'd love it even better if this reached. Oh, it can. Yeah, that looks neat. Can these two reach, though? No! Feels bad. Oh. I bet they could. If... In fact, it would be more symmetrical. 
if we do it like this. Yes. Fantastic. I'm back. What are you working on? Uh, ingots. We're doing our first ingot build. Welcome back, Veldak. Alright, so... Out with the beacons. We're not going to try to squeeze uh, baby beacons into this. And I was thinking we could probably just use the molten iron output uh, going straight to the rail network so that we could have a block itself to do steel ingots. Because I highly suspect that if we try to do this into casting steel ingots over here, it's probably going to be a nightmare. Um, for trying to fit it with the coke input and everything. But we can try. See what it looks like. Alright, let's start with that. And... Let's say we now want to do steel. We're doing 1,200 iron, molten iron per second. To keep up with that, we would need 200, 240? Um, we'd need to double this. Yeah, I'm thinking... I'd see that as a challenge, never mind. <laughs> right? I don't mind if we have... Um... I don't necessarily mind if we're, like, bottlenecking on smelting molten iron and we just have it able to go to iron ingots or steel ingots. But on the other hand, we could do a block that just makes the molten iron as well. It wouldn't be symmetrical, but I bet you could fit it, lol. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely going to export molten iron into the rail network. Um, but I feel like this is one place where having a default, uh, provide and request threshold that's incredibly high can come in handy. Because we can pretend there's less, uh, molten iron here than there actually is. If we want it to be able to flow both ways, but we also don't want the train to just, like, uh, come here when there's exactly one train load of molten iron, and then this spends it, uh, and then it's just gone. But we also don't want molten iron sitting here idle if we've got enough steel ingots, but we're trying to make iron ingots, because we're pumping it. So what we're going to do... is we're going to connect this to the LTN train stop like usual. We're going to say provide threshold 50k and we're going to pretend that multi we're going to pretend there's 50,000 less iron, molten iron here than there actually is. You know what? Make it 100k. 
This has to be half full before it'll trigger a pickup. And because our default... Well, I could also put it in here manually. Um, request threshold... Whoops. Request threshold a gajillion. That negative signal is never going to get high enough to trigger a train to think it can drop off molten iron here. We're just pretending there's this much less molten iron available to LTN than there really is. Or to put it another way, we're sort of reserving this much for the local block. So two train loads less in theory, so there's always a buffer. Yeah, I don't think the... Excuse me. I don't think even at 1.2k per second, uh, this thing is going to consume 100k molten iron before the train gets here to pick up another 50, uh, to pick up the 50k that we've got on top of 100k. So I, I guess this is kind of going to prioritize iron ingots over steel. That's probably fine. And our belts can handle this. Oh, our belts can very, 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 very easily handle this. Um, we really don't need blue belts in this instance. Let's run it all through a splitter. And... A splitter. Maybe merge that here instead. Can we do that? We can do that. That's not quite right. Let's move that down a tile, shall we? Cool. Let's have belts go down here. Loaders. And underground. I think just the fact that we can beacon this, but not this, easily, with tier 1 beacons, is going to work out as well, since this would go to two places. Alright, so this is Iron Ingot Provider. Um need some some settings for this uh, provide th stack threshold is 80 two cargo wagons that one's done and this one is molten molten iron provider And I suppose we should test it. Um, so let's connect this up. What's wrong with this? No pyroflux. Hmm. Would there be a more convenient... convenient spot to connect that? 
could always just have a separate block to produce molten iron since it's a block is balanced anyway. Yes, I was thinking that. Like, we could do... I don't know that we could fit this many around a beacon, um, but it, for the version that needs coke. But ignoring that, if we just did this twice uh, in a different block, we could have another block that just does molten iron. What's the minimum consumption on these? It's tiny, 1.6 kilowatts. That's good. Uh, so yeah, we just need to connect up pirate floods. And that one's actually super convenient. This one not as much. And this one very much no. be the neatest way to do this. There is such a thing. I don't mind that. Not too much anyway. And I'll just confirm... Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Pyroflux throughput is tiny, so... Any shape of uh, fluid pipe will do. I don't see the harm in adding some pumps here, though. What's that red? Oh, I see. Got some missing pipe there. Need to connect south second. South second. Oh, this one? Oh, I see what you mean. Fantastic. So that's all of our furnaces glowing. There we go. Yes, indeed. So pumping red hot molten iron. Yeah easy. Just like any other fluid. <laughs> Absolutely nothing changes. And we can actually see the signal value here. Oh wait, no we can't. If this was green wire, we could see the signal value here. It's uh, another 95,000 iron to go before LTN thinks we have any at all. In iron pipes, lol. Classic Factorio, right? Yeah, imagine trying to pull this off in Oni. Colder than 5,000 degrees steam? Uh, I guess that's true. Is this one gonna work? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. That's uh, looking really good. Albeit slow as hell because ingots. Um, and I might put this about here. That looks decent. Okay, station names have already been set up, actually. We're not dropping anything off up here. Feels a bit weird. And... Oh, I'm not going to fall for it this time. We are going to tell LTN that we've got Pyroflux. Sure does look slow, though the ingot belts will be full. Yeah, yeah, the ingots are, like, literally five times as dense as storing it as iron plate. And because there's some extra 
Uh, I guess there aren't any extra production steps where we can put productivity modules. How much? 250 molten iron makes one ingot. Okay. 250 molten iron per ingot, and it's one ingot stack makes five stacks, is that right? Iron ingot to plate. Ten of these becomes one iron. Yeah, yeah, five stacks. Five times the stack density. Um... I'm just trying to calculate mentally. 250. A cargo wagon can carry 25,000. It can carry 100 ingots. Or it could carry 40 times 50 ingots. I think we know what's denser. <laughs> I don't think we want to transport iron in its molten state as like a efficiency thing. But ingots though. Alright, let's blueprint this thing. And then the real challenge. Well, not the real challenge, but one last challenge. Uh, ingot. I'm gonna go molten iron. And iron ingot. Basic iron ingot. Train stop names. Snap to grid. 8624. Fantastic. Now the copper one is going to be the same, except we're not going to output. Uh, Molten copper because there's only one recipe for molten copper, and I don't see us transporting it to a thermodynamics facility. Um, so we're gonna change this up. I was gonna delete the whole thing and put it back, but that's going to make bulk rail loader cry. Um, let's just change these recipes. I'll double check that the ratios are the same. 1200 and... And 1200. Um, delete all the parts that don't use uh, bulk rail loaders. Let's just empty this. We're not going to export copper molten copper to the rail network. One K for each tier four. Jesus, what's your SPM target? My target is make one block and don't have to do it again, generally. Or is that Andy? Uh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Uh, can we void these for now without deleting this? And we will be looking for 8,000 enriched copper. And we're making 
Copper ingots. Fantastic. Is there not? That's the end of the iron. Okay, cool. Oh. Well, look at that. There's your proof um, that this doesn't necessarily output evenly. Very weird that when we tested it, it was outputting evenly. So that means I have to go back and change that concrete build, theoretically. Zonia, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Aurorus, welcome, welcome. Also, how are you going to get that with not having one UPS, indeed. So is this working? I believe it is. Aurorus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, upper ingot pickup. This looks correct. Um, yeah, I think we're done making the copper version. That was easy. Okay, ingot, copper, snap to grid, uh, absolute, actually, 8624, train stop names, yes, don't include the infinity, emulator and put that here okay so last step we require somehow to double this in a block but while having poke input at the same time. And considering how incredibly slow the belts are, I think I know just how to do that. Actually. Can we flip this? No. Can we... do it this way? Maybe a decon planner would have been quicker. A specific one. But flip. Oh, it's the chain. It's the rail that's the problem. Can we flip these? We can. Okay. How about like this? Easy. Uh, so we're doing steel ingots. Should have copied that recipe first. There's so many. Nice and smooth. Okay, double check there's only steel ingots here. 1.2k iron. Uh, 14... 14.4 coke per second. So we could have a half belt. I was going to do something sushi, but I forgot for a second that we can have the output inserters always go to the same side. Um... Well, how about... 
How about this? How about they always go to the inner set? Let's figure out where the coke is going first. So coke is going to come in from here. Stack threshold. Coke. Stacks to 50. Couple of train loads. I think we have coke in the rail network. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure we do, because we have steel. Then again, maybe we're making the coke locally. Coke. Requester. Switch that on. Uh, fill this up for testing. I ate sushi two days ago. Fantastic. Why did you set your coke to minus millions? Minus millions? Oh. How did I do that? Alright, two train loads, not... 2,000. Seems good. 8 million, right? Belt weaving? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Okay, so we're gonna have... We could either, like, sushi the whole thing, or we could just... The coke stops here. I wish you could do this with a splitter without... Oh wait, we can. No, no, we can't. We can do filters on outputs for loaders, not for inputs. Unless I did a filter inserter, which would be able to keep up with ingots because they're so slow, but... Well, but nothing. Maybe that would just look better. Filter, inserter... Whoops. Steel ingot. And we just want to give half belts for the coke over here. Let's just bring it together. I know this is going to be way more than enough. Belt weaving is a sin? Uh-oh. Uh, but we only want to use a half belt. Ah. Let's just do it like this. This will flow evenly. from the rail loaders and then we need to do a half belt oh we could just take from it with an inserter because this is going to be super slow right 14.4 per second that's not that slow in fact that's half a red belt okay then On one side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to need a bunch of splitters. Or maybe it would be easier. What would use fluid, fewer splitters? could do eight and have output belts go directly there. We'd need a bigger container. 
or we could that's four and eight. Put this over here. That's not quite right. Some undergrounds. Oh, it doesn't matter if we balance them, it's going to saturate. So we could just do it this way. It's going to look a bit neater, I guess. Yeah, we don't... may not need that many splitters. I think a cleaner way to do it would be... Like this. Since we only need half a belt for the entire thing. Uh, which means... We are always going to want to output to this side. So I can just copy paste these. That's not quite right. And then... Like so. Copy paste. Alright, that should work. Let's clean up the belt. And we also need to drop off molten iron. I kind of forgot. So we might have to change the layout of this a little bit. What's our rate? 1.2k per second? That's not that bad, especially if we put it close to the Molten Iron build or builds. Um, but could we maybe... I'm sure we could fit a nice, quick drop-off. Do this like so. Move this back a bit. That was surprisingly easy. I guess because we're going to the side this time. I think it'll look a little bit better if we do it like this. Alright, so... Fluid goes here. Probably wouldn't hurt. Um, maybe change this one a little bit. Inventory. Be gone. That's still going to be on the same side, right? 
Yeah, seems good. Literally Space Dust, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That loader doesn't insert on the chest, always needs two. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. We could do this. Fantastic. Okay. Maybe we don't need a splitter. I don't know. What looks more tacky? Hard to say. Let's get our fluid connected. I might want to move this so that I could have more pipe connections. Is this connected? It's one off. How dare you. Use an underground? One off indeed. That loader doesn't... Oh, yes. Also, hi. Ezriak. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed it is. Use steel pipes for this build. Yeah, we could do that. Or at least some of them. So these the middle ones are all connected. This side one is connected, the other side ones are not connected. One, two. We have two more connections to go. This should probably go all the way. Yeah, we still need more than one. Let's just do this. No! Over to here. And that just leaves there in the middle. Um, we could probably just do this, to be honest. Rather than having to move the red belts. I don't know, it'll probably look a bit nicer. Take this over a bit. So it's, like, consistent. Yeah, that seems good. Okay. Uh, molten iron is what we also need here. Oak. And molten... Iron? Requester? And we are making steel ingots. And down here is steel ingot provider. Also going to have to connect the output belts. But we'll worry about that after we test this. Oh, I forgot the minor detail of picking up the coke. So let's do that. But I need to be careful as I place them. Because it would be very easy to mess it up. This needs to go down a tile. Alright, so the four side ones. Filter inserter is in the way. Do 
these line up the same? No, we're going to have to move those two down. Uh, so it lines up with the pipes, yep. Alright, let's remove all of these belts for now. And we were copying this. And it's going to be a little bit different here. Maybe I should have different colors for the outputs. Because that's really hard to look at. There's going to be way more input than output, right? Oh yeah. Let's do yellow for output. Maybe I should just have them alternate. No, this looks better. Okay. Yellow for output. And... Near and far. Fantastic. Blue for input. Let's delete this, and this, and this. Copy paste all of that. And then... Near side, yellow. Far side yellow. Input. One. What? One. Two. And three. Missed some. Last but not least, let's just remove these before we start. Near side yellow, far side yellow, and input. Okay. Snowball, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bottom two missing inserters. Got it. Fantastic. Thank you, guy clicking. Let's give it some power. And max rate for the whole thing should be less than half a belt. So much less than half a belt. Um, let's move this over here, and maybe we should just do single train loads or ingots. But then... 
The whole point is to be able to move a lot all at once if we're bothering with ingots. I don't know that we actually gain anything with bigger productivity bonuses. Uh, actually, this is probably the only way to use the enriched version. No? Enriched iron goes into iron beam, iron gear wheel, iron stick. Huh. I'm a little surprised by that. Enriched copper can go straight into copper cable, and copper plate. Interesting. But the main reason we're doing this, at least at this stage, is to send it through a delivery cannon. It's way more stack efficient. 4.8 per second, that is a tenth of a stack. So steel's just way slower, as always. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with what we're doing with the two train load, uh, two cargo wagon setup. Okay. Don't really care about what side of the belt things are on, since this is going to be super slow. That's going to be a bit different. Five minutes till CME at Nalvis. Uh, I haven't checked on that in a long time. I hope we're ready. Okay, that is... Looking good, question mark? Yes, so let's check on our power real quick. We've got about 770, 780k of steam for our CME. Uh, at this rate, maybe 800, 900k by the time it actually hits. You should remove the CME just as a demonstration of why you need one. Do you mean the umbrella? No. <laughs> I think we might end up with a demonstration in a few minutes, regardless. I still haven't healed this whole time. Like, passively. That is slow. Uh, but yeah, this seems to be working pretty well. Um, let's fix our coke request. Oh, I forgot the reason I did that. Uh, 50k. Because we need a fluid as well. Two train loads of coke. And... Uh, molten iron. Say... 75k. One and a half train loads. West DX, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's actually only going to give us like... 20 seconds for the train to arrive after we get low. Let's set it to 100k. at least. Alright, blueprint time. Steel ingot. And it's a big one. 8624 is our snap two. And that's basically it. Why where, where did our sound go? 
ETA two minutes for the CME. Okay, so that's all designed. Uh, enriched iron and copper. Iron ingots, copper ingots, steel ingots. Now we just have to build them. Green wire input buffers? Input buffers? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah. Now I have to make the blueprint again from scratch because... Uh, because undo and select new contents does weird things with bulk rail. Okay, steel, ingot, uh oh, CME time, one minute, I can do this before that hits. Basic steel ingot, snap to grid, 8624, and Dunsky. For real this time? Remember the bad old days we have to do that for every blueprint update? Alright, it's not night time, obviously. CME is coming. Let's see what happens. 12, 11, 10. And in 23 hours, 37 minutes, we're going to have another one, but that's going somewhere else. All right, here is our CME. Power consumption going very, very high. It's already pretty much all of our power consumption. How much steam do we have left? 620, 610, 600k. I think we're getting close to the peak. Five hundred K, four ninety, four eighty. We're at the peak. I think it's gonna be close. CME, yes, CME. This is actually gonna be close. Three forty, three three twenty K, three hundred. We're going down now. Uh, let's see, 200k, 180k, 160, it's slowing down. We're almost halfway through the other side of the peak. 100k? 80k? I couldn't have scripted this to be closer. I think, I think we made it. We're going to have less than 50,000 steam left. 49, 48. It stopped at 48. Wow, that was, uh, that was a little awkward. It was closer than expected. GG. <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, I think I added those solar panels, like, basically just in time in order to store enough steam. Thank you, thank you. Alright, uh, I don't think we've actually built, apart from rare metals, we haven't built any of the production chain. That leads us to enriched and to ingots. So we're going to do iron and copper up here, I suppose. Uh, let's see. 
basic enriched iron. Basic enriched copper. What's this? Batteries. Lithium batteries, to be precise. Let's get those for starters. We need uh, about 50 chemical plants is the main thing. Chemical plants. Oh, we've got a bunch of artillery. How much have we got? 500. That's the limit that I set it to. How many defenders do I have? Zero. Wait, am I not requesting defenders right now? I don't think I am. I mean destroyers. Yeah, we've actually got at least a stack. Okay, cool. Uh, let's not get distracted. What was I here for? Chemical plants. Chemical plants. Wait, does fact does factory search do more than just show us where the container is? If we click here, it doesn't highlight it, does it? No, I would be very surprised if that was possible with the mod tools. Chemical plants. Oh. I'm in nav set mode. There we go. Let's go see what we can build. What was that? Like a solar flare or something? Yeah, it's an energy beam that'll probably wreck us if we don't absorb it. There's one right at the start of the game um, that almost singes you. Or does singe you a little bit. to go back for some blue belt. Speaking of, I could have saved a bit here. Well, we got the chemical plants done at least. Double check all these wires are connected properly. Seems good. Same thing as at game start with crashed ship and beams moving around. Yes, indeed. And later you can make them yourself. Oh, we're missing pipe. Let's turn off the bots for a sec. So that I can... Connect those directly. And then we'll go back for blue belt, mostly. And some rail. The hose, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, rail, that's more rail than I was expecting. And blue bell. Do we have some in here? We do. Give me all of that. And all of that. Why no robo ports on the city train blocks? Um, a couple of reasons. Oh, let's pick this up. First of all, some of the rail blocks I'm eventually going to want to have. 
their own separate robo networks. Uh, and secondly, if we have a giant robo network, it's it's nice to be able to just put ghosts down and have bots eventually build something, but the travel time is over the top, and a lot of the time, you know, if I'm standing here trying to build these ghosts, um, and this is in range of a big robo network, the build orders will be dibsed by bots that are 500 kilometers away, um, and unless I like cancel them and then replace them real quick or something, um, I'm, I'm not building anywhere near as quickly as I mean to, and I have to wait to see if something's working. It also causes issues with bot attrition. Oh yes. Well, actually no, construction bots are immune to bot attrition. Uh, with logistic bots, it definitely does. I should have brought more pipe. Like, extra beyond the normal requests. Did we get all the rail? Just about. Right, away we go. Construction bots bully the logistic bots? Oh no. How do they bully them? Yeah, that should be enough. Unless you set attrition to one billion. Indeed. Where are we going up here? Do we not have blue undergrounds? I thought I I thought I brought a stack. What happened to that? Oh, there's a bunch of undergrounds in the middle of the build. Never mind. Even so, I thought I brought a whole stack of them. I guess I did. Never mind. So what are we waiting on here? Nothing? Oh, that everything didn't work. It will... It is true when there are no inputs, everything greater than or equal to zero. Output signals, copper plate negative, copper plate positive. Not copper plate, but copper itself. Oh. Why is that not working? Okay, yeah, no, that was... Can I genericify this? I don't want to use anything. Actually, maybe I do. I do not. Okay. Let's just keep it simple. But what signal is it receiving that's making that condition not true? Oh, it's getting the water signal. Not to mention the sulfuric acid. And those are negative because... Okay, yeah. Fair enough. If this part was specific to copper, this part could be generic. It doesn't really matter if we can't make the whole thing generic. One job? You have a percentage rate of death, we are infinite? Percentage rate of death? Nani?
Okay. That looks like it's working. That looks like it's working also. Because I only tried the generic version with the copper. There's our final product. And dirty water. Nice. Next in line is... Uh... Ingots. Can we put them directly below? Not both of them. Okay, I think I'll put iron ingots here. Decipher, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? What the? Des Decipher. How do I type this? D C Y P H A. Okay. Terraria, fantastic. Uh, where were we? I was trying to decide where to put the iron. If I put the steel one here, it's going to be the shortest possible trip for the molten iron. And if I put the copper one here, that's good too. Yeah, let's do that. Why can't I... Oh, this is the map view. This isn't... Wait, I don't have focus on... On, on Factorio. Well, there's your problem. Okay. Uh, iron goes here. Copper... Not that copper. Copper ingot goes here. Steel, whoops. Steel ingot goes here. That's going to be a lot of building. Let's get to it. Got through a lot of bosses, nice. Gonna have some food, man. I'll be lurking. Alright, take care, Decipher. Thanks for the raid. And I don't have any casting machines uh, anywhere, actually, as far as I know. Let's get some casting machine. I'm gonna need a lot. Let's make it a hundred. And I'll check that in a sec to see if it's being auto-crafted. Oh! Uh, that's kind of scary. What? Which biters attacked us? Common biters. Yeah, I should have finished cleaning them up back here. Let's go get them. Not before I finish emptying my inventory of what I'm trying to build at the moment. A lot of trees here. a lot of bot jobs. That's what I get for designing uh, one, two, three, four, five blocks before actually building something. And we really need to pick up these bots, otherwise we'll be charging them until the heat death.
Looks like we've run out of fast inserters. Not too surprising. Nothing like a good bot job. Oh no. How's our wall looking? Bad. Getting too fond of this base. It's supposed to be our like interplanetary starter base. But look how much we're having to build to really get it going. So much for abandoning Nalvis. How's the wall looking? Glances at gaping hole in the wall. <laughs> Yeah. Are you defending, son? There's our concrete build that I need to consider redoing the output for. But now we've got 46k in here, so it doesn't even matter. Where's the wall looking? I don't even know what the butts are building right now. Okay, I should not design four blocks in one sitting and then build them all together. Biters have become. The biters have some wall as a treat, <laughs> indeed. still have stuff we can drop? Doesn't look like it. Let's get to defense. The best kind of defense. Uh, I think I have some turrets here. Yes, I do. Let's take laser turrets also. I think they're over here. Uh, two stacks is probably ludicrously overkill right now. Actually. So we got... Shields, we've got jetpack, we've got lasers, we've got walls, we've got ammo, destroy capsules. Don't have any heals right now. Where are they? I only see 20 of the cheaper med. Oh, here we go. Artillery, that's what I wanted to take. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, that's a lot, a lot. Let's cancel our requests. Put belts in here. Rail. Take the artillery. Take the shells. Probably don't need 16 artillery turrets. 
if I'm honest. And I guess since we have so much artillery, let's make the most of it. The common biter nests are very easy to clear, though. So I should use it on the um, regen biters. Then again, I think player time is more valuable done a bit of metal and explosives already. Okay, let's get some bots in the picture. I forgot to bring more ammo. And I didn't bring repair packs apparently. I can make one. We mostly need to pick up stone. Um, where, where is their stone? Around here. Give to me all of the stone. Make some repair packs. And I do see that wave incoming. It's only regen biters. It'll be fu- Well, there's your problem. This is why they're able to deal some damage. Utbrot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is my inventory full? No, the bots are just taking their sweet time. I should put down more laser turrets while we're here. It is connected. No, it's not. To the rest of the base is what I was going to say. Um, but I know we've had more solar than we need for a while now. So we can definitely at least beef up this spot that keeps getting attacked. Okay, Robo port out, shields in, feels weird having the shields down there, let's do that. And let's get in position to drop some artillery shells. As well clear this while we're on the way. Okay. So it's the common biters back this way that are the real problem. Is there a reason why the biters are so slow? These types are very tanky. They regen fast, they hit very hard, but they're very, very slow. They're not difficult to defend your base against, but they are a lot... Their nests are a lot more difficult to attack than most of them. Alright, turrets... Away we go. Let's check the range. That's not too bad. Or 
more shells. Did they already clear it? Oh wow. That was fast. Get the rest of these out of the way. Media shut down, fantastic. I'd rather deal with these here than have them go to my base. Alright, that should be enough. So much creep, this is true. Alright, so next we're heading over this way. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna need to attack the poison nests as well, which is further back than I would have thought I have to go. Luckily, we have all of these artillery shells. do I think and that is one nest just gone pretty much One more thing in range. Looks like that's it. I love the sound. I don't love the sound as much if I use uh, even distribution and put them all in simultaneously and it like just cranks up the volume. But yeah, if we just put them all in one by one. What could be more soothing? It reminds me a bit of Total Annihilation, the big birthers. Oh, 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 oh! Rude. something overconfidence. I thought they were finished and Remind then they all fired at once. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. I'm just gonna wait till our danger straws keep uh, finish auto firing before we move on.
This is a much more time efficient way to clear the biters. Are we done? I think we're done. And I want to focus on the common biters more than the poisons. Mostly just because the poisons are further away. They're actually... They end up being pretty nasty. Against the base, that is. I think we're too close. see exactly how how much actually let's just use our drones to clear the rest of this one it's not too much save a couple of shells and I think about here where we want to be for the next one. Seeing a lot more small biters out here. Probably went too close again. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's move back. We want to be, like, about one whole vertical screen away. If we zoom out. Alright, that's the end of that nest. would be a bit quicker. Oh wait, I don't have them. I heard a worm, but... Oh, there it is. Alright, let's try here. We've got probably less than 200 shells left now.
Maybe I should spread my tarts out a little more next time. No, I don't want to make them harder to defend. Still got plenty of fuel. Alright, that's the end of that one. How many shells? Uh, 70. It's not too bad. I don't know, this is not that much of a nest. We could probably just zap it. Biters out here? Of course there are. Oh my goodness. Let's just check all of these, I guess. Oh wow, that's nice. Oh, I almost missed this. Okay, uh, commons are all just down this way now. And we might want to hit the poisons also. too close. Nice. Nineteen shells remain. Let's just give it all to this one. Second thought, we could speed this up a bit. Four shots left. Probably would have been better if they targeted the bigger nest. Oh well. And in we go. Is Biter expansion on? No. But with Rampant, uh, the Biters attack from a lot further away than just the Pollution Cloud. Ok, 
Okay, at least two more nests with commons. And then hopefully our wall is going to be a lot more resilient. Random poison mixed in. Oh yeah, poisons. Attacking these nests is so easy and yet it's so easy to get stuck from the poison damage. Like that. They don't have many hit points though. nest over here first. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. That escalated quickly. Okay. All right. Okay. It's fine. This is fine. Wait, we're, we're good. And I think we'll hit these nests while we're here. That is a big one, though. I think in future I may just use... You know what? Rocket Launcher should be good. I have so little hit points. But I was going to say, maybe I should use artillery to attack poison nests next time. I could jetpack around firing the rocket launcher, but even if you're flying, it smashes into trees and rocks right in front of your face. So you got to be careful. Quite a few biters. Yes, it is. It only takes a couple of rockets, it seems, to clear a small cluster of nests. I don't know if it's faster standing around like that, though, compared to using the capsules. Maybe I should just fly around and very carefully use the rocket launcher. For all the time it takes to carefully aim a shot like that, I could just maneuver the bots carefully though instead and deal a lot more damage. It's not the bots I have to worry about, though, against poison biters, it's just me. And I, only if I get completely stuck. Auto save. Perfect. Okay. Okay, okay.
He saw nothing. Just nuke them? We don't have nukes. Oh, oh, save got your back, <laughs> indeed. It's way Remind too easy to, to click to a different no surface when you die. Revan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hex zero, nature one. Yes, my score is zero. We're getting there. Oh my god, let me move. I don't know if you should be shut out of the sky for, like, tick damage. AoE tick damage. Like, it barely tickles most of the time. Okay. That's that nest down. Uh, let's do a little words on stream as I'm a bit overdue for another break. And we'll have, what, a bit over an hour left for today after that. Veldak is here. If it's poison gas, you should just fly over it with a jetpack, right? Or how about uh, rocketing your own face when you shoot over a rock or tree or tiny little stick? Arrived just in time for that. Yatu Atu. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's go. Okay. Uh, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. We're up to level... What level are we up to? Nine. Uh, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. Level 14, let's go. Uh-oh, this one's looking tough. We had half the points halfway through, and now time's nearly up. We've got the same number of points. Uh, Pinsa? No? That's too long, isn't it? Oh my god. That was clutch. Okay. Shall we finish this one? We're up to level 15, let's do it. Ah yes, Hakoza. We might get this one. Did we get the hidden ladder? It's N. Oh, we got it. Fantastic. All right, I want to get back to Factorio, but I'll keep this going until you guys lose if you want. Let's go. And I'll just keep clearing the biters in the meantime. I don't think we'll make much more. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough at that level.
I think level 16 is our best so far. Bullfish, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's a bit of poison biters up here. Hey dude, yeah, I came over with Decipher's Raid. Nice. Decipher's is pretty chill. Welcome in. Oh, that's more poison. How's our words on stream looking? Oh, you made it. Oh, wow. You guys just won't lose, huh? Let me pause this real quick. I'll start the next one. Level 19. Guy clicking, absolutely smashing it. Beldak, Skyburner, Westiax, Demon. Uh, quite a lot of people actually doing quite well. Alright, let's continue. Good luck. Natharius, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm just going to keep going until I stop seeing poison biters. That might be ages, actually, now that I think of it. Fourteen words. Must have been close on the score. Well, level 19. That's actually amazing. Well done. We now continue with your regularly scheduled Spider Massacre. What's the record? I think our record before today was 16. Level 16, that is.
Britley, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hixinator, welcome also. Uh, Thendria, if I didn't say so, welcome, welcome. Big brain everyone, indeed. And it looks like... Looked like a loss two levels prior, and then you just smashed it. Veldak, thank you very much for the five subs. Much appreciated. 46 in total, wow. Thank you so much. Can't exaggerate how much I appreciate I appreciate that, Veldak. Thank you. and make a nice looking pizza to post next time. Gave a bonnemetet. That's like one of the words in words. I saw a word that I had to look up uh, like two levels ago. It was C-I-N-E. It was like short for, it was like the sin in cinema. Uh, and it referred to, like, obsolete filmmaking techniques or style or something. Okay, okay. The poison biter nests are never going to end around here. Um, I think once the bots run out, I won't refresh them this time. We'll go back to building. much we can get done before they do expire though. Oh, that's the end of them. Okay. Back we go. Oh wow, we went a long way from the walls that I was trying to defend. Not as much a long way out as to the side. Hello, by the friendos. How's it going with your outpost on the other planet? It's fine. The only thing we have to worry about is uh, running out of media defense installation. Oh, um, no, no. We've got one left in the chest. That's, uh... Some of them have five, some of them have four. So we've got about, let's call it... Uh... 33, 35... Shots left. So yeah, I think we'd better get back there. <laughs> in the relatively near future. But I haven't set up everything that I want to for supplying vegan, which means we're going to have to make more trips. Unless I hurry. How's our defensive wall looking now? It's already taken a bunch of scratches, but I only see regen biter corpses. So it's probably more than capable of defending itself. If we've pushed back the common and poison biters um, to the point where they won't be supplementing the slow moving um, regen biters. Let's go get ourselves our casters and whatever else we need to build all of this.
Was wondering about media defense myself. A two hour ago revisit was needed. Well, it was needed soon, TM. Now it's needed sooner, TM. Uh, how many casters do we have? Let's see. Cast. What is it called? Casting machine. Uh, we have... I guess that didn't help find them, did it? 106. Fantastic. Now where are they? And what else do we need to carry up here? Also, how many do we need? Uh, 480. Oh, no. And a lot of... Five stacks of red belt. Uh, let's call it five stacks of blues. Inserters. Uh, extra stacks of underground pipe. And yellow. Inserters. Let's just go five of each so we don't have to think too hard about it. Um, so we're making casters pretty quickly, but I guess I should have set the limit higher. I thought a hundred would be a lot, but evidently no. Let's go build. Away go the bots. Probably should have built the casters for iron first. Oh well. It won't be long before we've got them all built anyway. I forgot to pick up the copious red belts. Well, I may as well drop off what I can on this trip, I guess. Pick up the bots. There we go. Also, how many shells do we have at this point? Uh, zero. Good to know. Oh, we pretty much just need casters and red belts already. And a little bit of rail. Should I make a cargo rocket in the rail network to send stuff to Hagen? Uh, I think for one-off cargo rockets this will be fine. I want cannons for the throughput stuff. Alright, how many of these do we have now? Good question. Uh, 54. It's coming... It's getting built rather quickly. Uh, what was I looking for as well? Red belt. The depots are very, very recognizable on the map. I like that. We got to pick up rail... Oh, I can make some.
Really? Oh, the robopots are thirsty. No? Why are we not building this fast transport belt? Do I have a single bot crawling its way back to me somewhere? Yes, I do. Jetpack will reset what the bots are doing. Alright, so it seems like nothing but casters now. 374, we also need 311 red belt. Which I've got. Oh, I just didn't park myself in the right spot yet. Where's that bot? Just below the depot. Of two bots, I think it is. One point six seven kilowatts times two forty. Four hundred kilowatts. Eighty one sixty. 320. Alright, we are positive if this thing is sitting idle from the wind turbines, but not by that much. Uh, let's grab our bots first. There you go. Oh. Oh no. I think I ran out of fuel. I think I ran out of fuel. You know what? Let's get a taxi. Where am I, anyway? About here, right? How is wall looking? That happened to me recently. I ran out of fuel when working at orbit. Indeed. Let me just get in our train. But how's our wall looking? Bad. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it was. All right, let's ride this back to our home. And out we get. Um, what was I doing? We're looking for casting machines. Several hundred of them still, right? I always find them so hard to spot in the list here. Sort would be nice. Oh wait, I requested them. We have... Zero, because I didn't have my logistics enabled. 137. Um, I think we've got quite enough waiting in steel. I want... I want some of iron and copper placed. And was there anything else missing? Up here? Just a couple of containers and rails. Fantastic. Roboport off so the bots don't jump away. Walked for a bit, thought about teleporting shuttle to me, and then I realized I can just coast in free space out of scaffold. Yes, I went too far. Much too far. Okay. Uh, roboport enable. 
Let's make sure we get some copper ones as well. But I think I mostly want iron. We also need another 2x2 two two storage. Fantastic. We've already got the pyro flux. Very good. We're already smelting liquid copper. That's our iron block done, except for some insertos. Can I handcraft some? I can handcraft quite a few. Let's finish the iron first. Iron ingot goes here, copper ingot goes here, steel ingot goes here. Fantastic. And apparently we already ran out of those blue inserters. Is this thing stuck? No, we're good. We're good. So now we have, in the rail network, delivery cannon capsules, iron ingots, copper ingots, and steel ingots. Burgers and fries. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're getting close to... ready to go to... Um, Egan again. But I think we're still going to be rushed back there if we want to avoid meteors falling on its head. Probably going to have to make an extra trip that I don't want to. It'd be nice if we could send media defense installation ammo in delivery cunning capsules. We need to go back there anyway to make the receiver chests. Alright. Let's just double check. Nothing but casting. Nothing but inserters. Nothing but casting, basically. Is what's missing here. Any more inserters? Four. I can make four. You have to send these subcomponents. Yeah, it's a little bit of a pain. You need to send. Well, last playthrough I did without K2 and stuff, without point six. Uh, we needed to send sulfuric acid barrels. We needed to recycle the barrels into steel so that we didn't eventually get too many of those. Uh, we needed... Uh, what? Stone, so that we could make stone tablets, so that we could make green circuits, copper... Um, several things. But you can do it all with one delivery cannon chest, if you so desire. Alright, there is our molten iron, and there is our iron ingots. Very good. For some reason I thought it was almost time to finish the stream, but we've still got like half an hour. Or a bit more, actually. So, let's see what we can accomplish. Should we make a block to start sending? I would love to have... three kinds of ingots at least. Actually... Okay, okay, okay. Do we have... requester chests? On this surface. Zero... Zero. Zero. 
Zuri. It was Zuri for this one, right? Yeah. Uh, what about buffer chests? I think I have something lying around. Or did I leave it at Hagen? Oh no, don't tell me I left it at Hagen. That would be a little bit tragic. There's one requester up here. Uh, Hagen? Yep. There's one, only one here, actually. Two, four, six. Okay. And I'm guessing here's the green chests. There's 12 of them. I could have made use of that. It would have been nice to have some bots for the delivery cannon capsule block. The block that uses them, not uh, sends them. Oh well. How would you do an LTN station which in theory would loop to itself? Like thermofluid? Uh, for one station, not just one block? So you want one product, both pick up and drop off from the same station to itself. Uh, I don't know if you could or if there would be a reason to. As far as I can think of. Derriere. Welcome, welcome, by the way. Good to see you again. Don't finish, I just got here. Fair enough. Vilsonic. Good to see you again. Okay, so... We can definitely fit four different things here. It's going to be so much more of a pain with belts to do this multi-cannon system. Oh, we can't... we can't use the editor extensions to plan this. Not the lab, anyway. Oh, this is empty. Some recipes need 25 degree fluid, some others produce that. So I want to do a central block for all the different fluid temperatures. Oh yeah, that's what I did last time. So it's... you basically just treat it as different products. The different temperature versions. Uh, while I'm thinking about what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab the rest of these casters. And that might be enough? I don't think so. Uh, I guess I could build a rail block, like, over here to help plan it. Or I could just build it in place. I guess technically that's a thing we can do. Grab some more rail this time. Do we have some here? We do. Fantastic. Do a central for 25 degree and just loop at the science build for different temps. I think what they mean is have your uh, hypercoolers at the location so that you don't have to train it around. If I do a central one, I need to offer it and also request it, so the recipes which produce don't overflow. So you're trying to maintain a certain level. Um, at the one station, like, keep it half empty. 
that's just a matter of setting an offset. We've actually sort of already done this. Um, with the iron, with the molten iron pickup, uh, what I'm doing here is the provide threshold is 50k, but we we want LTN to ignore the first 100,000. So I've got the request threshold implicitly in the mod settings is set incredibly high, so we're never going to reach it. And we're basically just using a negative signal here to pretend there's 100,000 less uh, molten iron in this thing than there actually is. So a train won't be scheduled to pick this up until there's 150,000. So this is an example of how you can basically lie to LTN about how much stuff is available. It doesn't have to have anything to do with what is physically there. So um, we've done this in like a negative direction in this case. Um, I guess... Whoa, what the hell? Why when I click on this does it have like int max or something? That was weird. Uh, if you made this positive 100,000, it would be like telling LTN there actually is already 100,000 there. No, I think I think this is it, actually. You set, like, a, a target that you're trying to maintain it at. Except you want it to be a... You want it to request as well. Hmm, tricky. Uh, Silver... Silverino, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Someone know what is his mod packs? Uh, you can scroll down or there's this command in chat. 10% loss, 2% loss, 0.2% loss. The lower the loss, the slower the radiator cools. Oh yeah, the, uh, the first type of radiators. Well, not the first type, but before the hypercoolers. What are we doing? Delivery cannon capsules. Using them. Uh, for which we need some delivery cannons, which I didn't bring with me. Whoops. I did bring casting bows, so let's drop those off. And they're gone. Do we have any of these that are actually able to work? Oh no, because they have... Okay, there's one of them at least working. We have like 700 ingots. Yeah, there's a few that are working. What the hell is... Underneathies in the mod list, uh, it fixes the name of the underneathies. There was an error where they were called underground belts. Uh, so what was I coming here for? Delivery cannons. Gimme gimme. Based mod. Let's drop off some more of these casters. Did we finish? I think we finished. The iron and copper ones, at least. There's got to be a few more missing for steel after this, right? We couldn't possibly finish the build, right? Unless... There's something missing up here, two by two. I don't think we do have coke in the rail network, though. Oh, yes we do. We've got lots of it. Did we just forget to switch this on? No? Coke. Stack size 50. 
Negative 8,000. Request threshold. 80 stacks. Combinator is switched on. Uh... We know coke can be delivered, although weirdly... Oh no, that's right, that's fine. Coke, negative 8k. Request stack threshold, 80. Train length, 4. Request stack threshold, 80. 8k. Do we have 8k? We very, very, very much have 8k. We've got four times that. I think you did that in past playthrough with deleting core mining excess. Didn't watch that playthrough though. Uh, did what? Delivery cannons? Oh, with the offsets. What version of SE is this? 0 0.6 with K2 as well. Restorio 2. Why is that... Why is this not getting scheduled to deliver coke? Didn't somehow give it the wrong signal? Let me just check. 80... Uh, 50 times 80 is 4,000. This should be two train loads. Priority a million? I'm pretty sure we have a lot of spare trains. We have a lot of spare trains. You missed the message above? Uh, in chat? Uh, above which. Someone know what is his mod pack? Not that one. What version are you playing? Want it to request as well. Know about offsets, which would work. But yeah, I'd have to think about it. I'd really like to know why coke isn't being delivered here, though. Let's just tear this down, build it from scratch, and maybe... Maybe we'll get rid of some error that we didn't notice. Poke. And what was the other thing here? Molten iron. Molten iron. Molten iron. Where is it? Oh, it's in here. Two steel ingot. Switch on. And it works. What the hell did I miss? Oh, 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 I bet I know. I, I, my best guess, anyway, is this was actually connected to... It doesn't reach. There's no way this was connected to the constant combinator. Uh, I, I was going to say, is there a universe where the... Uh where the wire wasn't connected, but I checked that. Got the wire. Oh. No? What? What are we missing here? You're joking. Did I not? I thought I added the... I, apparently I didn't have the stack request threshold. So it was looking for, asking for 50k coke before it would have been delivered. 
your chain signals are slightly misaligned, or is that a deliberate design of the block? Um, yeah, they're misaligned because these stations fit together snugly like this. Um, and it doesn't allow the trains to leave in this direction. Pentabot, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You could, but if you balance the output with combinators, it shouldn't. I'm just using it that way and it works. Fair enough. All right, well, that'll be our steel once we get a lot, and I do mean a lot, of molten iron spare. I guess. Hmm. Maybe I should change the way this works because it's not just going to prioritize iron ingots over steel, it's going to really hard prioritize iron ingots over steel because this is going to have to be full before we start getting any steel ingots. Maybe that's okay, since we've already got, like, a quarter of it almost filled up. In that, in that light, maybe it's fine. And we could always just make a block specifically for providing uh, molten iron for the steel. Okay, we've got our delivery cannons, right? Delivery cannon. Things we want to send to Hagen. I, I want to send, like, basically all... All the basic things, so that we can easily uh, build our new main base. Iron ingots, copper ingots, steel ingots, uh, rare metals. We can send fuel. Don't think we need to do that there. Uranium? We can mine uranium on Hagen. We've barely got a uran uranium mining operation on Nalvis as it is. We're only using it to fuel our uh, power armor. There's not a whole lot of uranium here, but there doesn't really need to be. Uh, heat shield LDS? That's probably a good idea. Where's L Why is LDS under manufacturing? Heat shielding and LDS are siblings. They shouldn't be separated. What else have we got? Uh, I don't feel the need to send any of this. I don't think. We don't have Vulcanite. We're not going to bother sending Cryonite back here. Hagen is going to become the main base. Our rail blocks here are kind of like a dry run. Uh, is this getting close to everything that we want to send? This is a lot, though. Uh, this is eight different things, so we need more train stops. We could do as many as... Oh, wait. 320 over 40. I mean, 40 over 320? No, that's not right. 320 over 40. Eight. We can fit eight train loads of s different stuff in here if we really want to, but that excludes the delivery cannon capsules themselves. 
So we're definitely going to need at least one more train stop. Why does this not... Invalid train stop position? You what? You're having a fucking giggle, mate. Was that not where I was trying to put it? Or is this... Logistic train stop... Oh. I think I was trying to place... No? I, I don't get it. One-way track? Oh, was I trying to place it backwards? No, I don't think so. Was it because the signal wasn't placed yet? Maybe that could have something to do with it. Uh, I think we're just doing one cargo wagon for delivery cannon capsules. So we'll put this here. If we're lucky, we're not going to spot one more thing that we want to send to Hagen from here. I guess I could send uranium, but... Oh wow, I was going to say it'd be a while till this filled up, but it's already like halfway full almost. Jeez. And look at all that rare metal. What do we even use rare metal for? Rare metal. There's only 41 inputs for it. I mean, products. Artillery wagon? Advanced radar? Electric mining drill mark 2? Worry drill? Nuclear reactor? I should make some of these. Uh, processing unit, testing pack, nit nitric acid, chem plant of the advanced variety. Okay. We're going to be using them a lot more later on, but at the moment we're just sort of accumulating rare metals quite a lot. Oil products to ship? No, I think we'll be okay. We'll probably be okay to get oil products directly off of Hagen. I mean, we've got an entire planet. Um, the stuff that we're sending is basically to accelerate things. Make it easier. Um, I would love to sell some more advanced stuff, but we can only do that by cargo rocket. Oh, we could send glass. Well, there it is. And I guess we could send coke as well. So we're going to need at least one more train stop. Uh, for input. Yeah, Heat Shield LDS is about the most advanced stuff that we can send by delivery cannon. Should probably send uranium while we're at it. We can't make ice without cryonite, right? Weirdly enough. Cryonite slush and water... Uh, water, ice, water, ice? Oh, this is when you mine it. Yeah, we need cryonite to make ice. Sulfur? Sulfur you make from oil, so yeah, no. Probably not. Probably not worth the delivery cannon capsules. Explosives, maybe you need to send things back. Explosives, not a bad idea. Uh, plastic, we've already got automated... Yeah, I don't know. Explosives are kind of under the same category. I need to build a block to manufacture them, but it's not... Like, it's it's the volume of raw resources easily accessed and a bunch of stuff that we're going to send back via 
cargo rocket, like more media defense ammo. That's what we're really looking for. If we can't make ice, I will cry all night. Oh no. I think that deserves a promotion. Data gnome, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I think that's about it, right? Metals, heat shield LDS, stone brick concrete. Um, glass, coke, maybe explosives. How do you make explosives again? It's like coal, sulfur, and petroleum or something. Coal, sulfur, and water. Even easier. We could probably send coal. Oh yeah, coal, definitely. Uh, coal is actually a bit of a problem on Hagen. Yes. Okay, we will send coal. So that is... 12. I think we'll go, like... It'll probably be easier if we split it up into more than the bare minimum number of stations. We've got a whole block here if we want to use it. It's, uh, it's not going to take up. It, it, we're not going to have to, like, squeeze things in, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I am going to do a little pro gamer move here. We're just going to build a little square of something to represent our media defense installations. Wait, now I'm getting that backward? I called media defense installations delivery cannons, and I just called delivery cannons media defense installations. What's up with that? How about we do some 5x5 five five blocks of these? To represent our cannons. Bruh, right? Thinking juice is decaying? Yeah, it's getting a little late. So I'm thinking maybe... Or I'm trying to think. How about four cannons below each... Uh, train stop, and we'll have the, yeah, I see how it is. It's definitely because of the signaling that we couldn't place that, but we could with copy and paste. Okay, so we're going to have delivery can capsules dropped off here. Wait, what? Stone brick? No. Delivery cannon capsule concrete? No, bad. No, where is it? Oh, no. Where, where is the... Where is the basic delivery cannon capsule? I have a better idea. We're just going to do it this way, for testing. Oh no. Oh no. That's... That's not what I wanted. Okay. So we can confirm this is a regular delivery cannon capsule. It's under the manufacturing tab. 
So it's only... There's only like 20 of them we have to check. LTS, space elevator cable, delivery cannon capsule. We did it. Okay. So I was thinking it would maybe look something like this. And we just need... Oh, if we want, if we want four different inputs, we can't really fit like eight, right? Let's do it like this. If we want four different inputs, we need four outputs as well. Yeah, we need a uh, four by four. At least. That's too much, man. Probably. That's not quite right. I guess we could do it this way. I'll back up my save games before anything else. Steam doesn't want to start Factorio. Uh-oh. Cloud sync? Yeah, no. No thank you. I'll stick with the DRM free version and not putting things on someone else's computer and then pulling from it. Good luck. Uh, so, I think we should control input control the cannons by uh, managing let's just do it this way uh, we should manage the input of the capsules as opposed to the products themselves and what do you got three four if I want this, this to fit better, shouldn't be hard to make this fit pretty well anyway. Can easily fit three of them. Maybe four, since we don't need an output area. Oh wait, I just realized, where are the trains going to come from? I could do... Hmm. If they're coming in from here... This is like a simple task that I'm probably going to spend way too much time on to try to make it pretty. We just doing one cannon per item type. Yeah, I want to drop off four item types at each train stop, if not more. Um, I think one cannon for each resource is going to be enough. Like it's just to help building on Hagen. It's not like our our big throughput th kind of late game stuff. For now, at least. Could we do... Could do one, two, three, four, five, six. Technically, we could do six. From each train stop. 
I don't necessarily think that's a great idea. If I used filter inserters, I would need a big container so that both of these line up with it. It would have to be a warehouse. Big brain. Simple task takes hours designing. Yup, sounds like Factorio. Yes, indeed. So, like, this part is going to be straightforward enough. You can see the basic idea. I'm just obsessing over how we're going to balance. I could just do the rebalance thing. No, because that's only good for one type of resource. If we have it go round in circles until it's balanced. Yeah, okay. So probably... How about we do it like this? We'll need two more tiles, I think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's going to look neat. It's going to use up a bit more space than it really needed to, but that's fine. Is what I'll tell myself. Um, and then... Uh, we will need some more space here. One. Two. Three. Four. No, should be fine. So, kind of like this. It's definitely neat, but how much space is it going to take up? Well, we would have room for our 12 on this side of the block. I'm sure we can do better than this, though. There's unused space over to the side. Also, I haven't finalized how the trains are going to get in there. Or even thought that much about it. I would love to do something with a bit of radial symmetry. If we're content to have just 12 types of resource in one block, okay, let's copy this just in case. Wait, no. I'll copy this just in case. And I think we'll make this our drop off. And then we're going to have drop offs of other resources over here. And we'll use a quarter of the block for each four. It should be plenty. Plenty spacious. I do wish we could have loaders uh, connected to wires so that we didn't need this much room to have decision makers on them. Or I could just use uh, stack inserters like a, like a normal person. It's not going to be as fast as loaders, but it doesn't have to be. Actually, I do want to use loaders, if only to 
make sure they get inserted at the same speed from from the other train stop uh, from the other cargo wagon rather and we're gonna have our delivery cannons lined up how exactly I could have them in the middle even for the most part One, two, three, four. I don't love that. inputs for... You know what? Actually, I do hate it. Let's put this over here. It's not quite right. I would like the... Because the the way the cannons like obstruct the view. Um, I would like to have the stuff that we're controlling carefully on the southern side. So we're gonna have delivery cannon capsule input on this side, controlled by stack size one, circuit wire, connected to some smart stuff, connected to a uh, signal receiver, which is going to send pulses so that we don't send more stuff than can fit in the delivery cannon uh, chest. Actually, we're not trying to save space on the other end. This isn't our usual... This isn't like our outposts from before. So the logic's actually going to be a lot easier. Okay, so far I don't hate this. Now... If I were to do the same thing over here, that actually fits not even remotely cozily, just fits very easily. Wait, what? Copy-paste worked? With the bulk rail? Unloaders? Uh, and we could have a fourth one here. That's not going to look like something, is it? Not really. Besides which, we're only using 12 so far. Okay. So... Down here, and down here, and over here. Rip rotational <laughs> symmetry. I could maybe try redesigning it a bit. I did. Oh, wait, it's not going to be like that. I did say I wanted the input on the south side for the delivery cannon capsules, but 
Uh, if we're going to aim for any kind of rotational symmetry, that's obviously not going to work. Which means there's no real reason not to... Do it something like this. And maybe... Probably simpler if this one goes to here, and no it's not. Also I feel like that's just going to look a little bit cleaner. So we could have this one go over here. I think I'm going to end up liking that better, especially because we could fit more of these if we really want to. To double the throughput. Something to consider? does it go? Oh, the belt's in the way. Gone. Is that right? I think it is. Yeah, I think we broke that corner earlier. I don't hate this. Welcome back, Rotational Symmetry. Uh, if we really want to, we could have... We could have the uh, Delivery Cannon capsules delivered to the middle. That might be good, actually. Put this a bit further down. Yeah, I, that's a lot more, like, obviously distinct uh, in where it belongs. This needs to have signals here. Fantastic. Okay, um, I'll flesh that out probably for next stream. But it is actually well past time to finish for today. Let's... Why am I saving as blank? What? Are we okay? Save game. Did I press space? Is that why? SEK2 and so on. Fantastic. Alright, who is streaming Factorio? Let's find out. Tumbling satellite, new factory day? Benwu, LTN, and space elevator. Well, uh, I think you'll know where we're going, since I will try to give it's you something similar. 
Loaded autosave is why? Loaded autosave is why? What? No, I think we're good. Bye, T-Hex. Veldak, take care. Thanks for hanging out. And thank you so much again for the gifted subs. Let's do a little raidy raid. Take care, Dardano. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And in the meantime, stay safe. Forgets what game you loaded last. Oh, I see. Uh, Demon BM, Koha, take care. Thank you all for hanging out. T-Hacks, how's it going? Did you, uh, how'd you, you end up wrapping up your stream there? Oh my god, you're all...